on a magnetic sheet and there are lots and lots of dies here and it, this shows um, you can can you can um, line up the triangles which um, allows you to make um, cards which might spin vertically or horizontally or you can change the angle as well and it really is a mix and match um, die set so we've called these apertures but really you can use the circles as apertures as well you can change the width of the frames as well we've got some um, examples in a minute but these are these are um, the, the pieces which will connect there's even a gift card so there's so many that you're getting look at what you're getting so these are just the dies now they cut out beautifully is how they cut out. So this is how they currently cut out that you can see here. So this is one of the thinner ones, as it were, as you were saying. So this is as thin as they go. I, w I was care I wanted to have um, vintage frames and it to look lacy. It reminds me almost of antique um, plates, you know, yes. like stacked up together. Um, but I didn't want to put too much detail because it needs to have strength. Um, so this is as thin as they, they go, and this is the smallest um, connecting pieces. But if you don't use those inner um, dies when you cut the panels, you can cut solid panels. Um, there's just, I know, it's just, there's so much you can do. You could also start with a, a skinny um, frame and then connect um, a solid panel. Straight well. onto the So you inside. don't have to take it, um, you know, from the largest right down to the smallest. You can mix and match. You can also start with a smaller card. You could have a tiny card and just have... Um, well, like, oh, and here, look, like a tiny card. So if you're doing like little invitations and you wanted them to look slightly different, yes. little notelets maybe. Yes. Just name cards or something. Oh, yes. That'd be perfect, or a wedding name card. But then mm -hmm. you also get as well, so these are more of the, what you're getting cut out. So this is an example of using the apertures instead of those circles. And also you'll notice the notch here, I've put it horizontal instead of vertical. So you're going to get a different spin. Oh. And you, but it doesn't have to be, you could put it there, you could put it there, and um, so you can change that. So spin. there's no ro really right or wrong way to put them as a group if you Just want to Just preference, do. preference on what you're trying to create. And here we've got wider frames, and then you can use the stamps. Now, I'm glad you mentioned stamps. <laughs> Seamless. So from <laughs> there, you normally to use your own stamps, it would be hard work to get them around the circle and fit perfectly. But you <laughs> have done wonders for us. You've done, once again, the hard work. And they are beautiful sentiments that you've got in the stamps. So they're designed to um, fit within those panels or within the frames. Um, and you can you can mix and match, yeah. Like here, there's just so much you can do. And it's just packed, packed. It, it, it's an A4. So this is the A4 that you're getting. And it is packed what you get. But you get things like happy birthday, uh, with love, on your special day, make a wish, thank you that's in there as well. Um, you also get the keys, but what I also like, you also get the locks as well, so you can really go to town. So I would, the reason my thinking behind it was, if you did that in, say, gold or brass, you might want a black um, background behind, just to make it look a bit more realistic oh, yeah. and, and sort of vintage look. And this is all hand, all hand drawn, um, obviously well, the greetings, although I did draw, did draw those, and um, it's photopolymer. Which so is, it doesn't get better than photopolymer, gonna, clear. But now, I've only just thought of this, and I, you know, I, I just, so the, especially with the keys and the locks, imagine mm. doing them out of shrink plastic <gasps> and using them as embellishments on the inside so of your circle. Nice. As long as they're not too heavy, mm -hmm. you could pop them inside your spin so it could all tie in if you wanted to as well. <gasps> oh, but then, oh, it gets better. We've also got... <laughs> <laughs> we were doing so well that first time. Uh, we've also got stencils new to the world of stenciling. New for us, yes. Um, and these are just these are these are beautiful. I've, I'm genuinely really enjoying using these to create um, backgrounds. I'm going to um, in this hour I'll, I'll use some spray inks as well. I've got some poly wink spray inks, and um, this one I, I created a, a decorative box. Um, just. just yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look at that. So that is the whole doily, and I just had um, dark pink acrylic and white, and then I, I made a, a, a medium sort of shade as well, and that was literally putting the doily straight on the top of a plain box. And then this um, here, I used some washi tape and just um, wrapped it around and then just stenciled as I went. That was so quick. So that would mean that then it, you would never know where the seam was on that, which means you could really use that for any of your home decor. And it just goes to show how big as well those stencils actually are to cover the lid of that box. So you can use it completely, or you can just use um, sections as well for your, for your card back. It's so pretty. 
Uh, there is some, and then, oh, there's more. <laughs> so you get your stencils, you've given us your dies, you've also given us the stamps that correspond with the dies and stencils that correspond with your background paper. Oh, but then we haven't got no paper. No, because you won't need paper, you're going to need card. You're going to need 300 GSM card for this, for the weight and the construction, yeah. but you've also thrown that in as well. We have. It's a given, isn't it? It's a given. 300 GSM. The colours on this are beautiful. If you want the paper, most people have gone for the large bundle and they've also thrown in a paper pad as well, extra, but half the stock of the paper pad on its own, details are on the bottom of the screen, has already gone. So 50% on its own has already gone. But when we open this up, look at the colours that you have got here. These so are. even if you folded, imagine if you folded a card in half yes. and then you cut the aperture from this side, you're going to get the purple, the purple on the other side. There's just... The possibilities are endless yeah. because look, especially the blues as well. So now we're talking, for me, it'd be like male cards. So it'd be, not necessarily, but I'm going to talk about myself. But you've got these beautiful blues that are in here and it's not just like a baby blue. You've got from really dark to really light. It's so nice. Rich is going to be doing the nine o'clock um, show. He's going to be doing a crackle um, texture paste white on this and it's stunning. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, but then, oh, nine o'clock this evening. Oh, nine o'clock tonight, don't miss it. But then look at these, also your tropical colours in there as well. So you'd have your skies and your sand and then your beaches if you wanted them to be. There's so much. I can see why people are putting these into their baskets as well. This one's interesting because it's not just, um, it, the colours come in from different angles. So on your spinning oh, yeah. frames, so I use every scrap. So I might cut a frame from here, a frame from here and here and you get the different colours when you connect them. But you know, whatever, pack, whatever card you use from the pack, you know they're all going to mix and match perfectly. You know that when you get these, so maybe you use one from the front and one from the back, it'd be two totally different colours, but you know they're going to work and you know they're going to go to town. We're very busy across the board. £73.95, and pence. we're going to go to demo, I've done enough talking. Uh, 151198 is your item number, £36.98. and pence. This is what you're getting as well, you're getting an awful lot. I know I say that a lot as well, you're getting an awful lot for your money, don't worry, my nan moans at me every day. Uh, you are getting an awful lot for your money. Um, We've had a lot of people emailing in from across America telling me where you're from, because I asked for it, bless you. Uh, we've had Melissa, she's from Plantation in Florida watching. Uh, we've got Leslie, who's in Eastern Tennessee. Uh, we've got Diamond, oh, Diamond Crystal, she's in Southern California. Evening, Diamond. Uh, we've got lots, loads of it. Wow. You're very... Marcy's emailed in. Oh, you're very big across the world oh, this evening. Oh, do you know, when we went to America and spoke to other crafters, it was, we had such a giggle. It was lovely. Any, any craft show is, um, is, is, is just so nice and to get feedback as well. And um, when we were talking about our dyes, because they're mostly they're all kinetic in some way, it felt like I had a box of magic tricks, and I was going, oh, look at this one, and then look at this one, and this one does this, and it was, yeah, it was lovely. But that's what you can do, because you find... When this has been set up in the studio, you find everyone sort of drawn to them. And everyone wants to play and touch and see how they actually work. Everyone is drawn to the mechanism. But that's what it is. So when, I, when I'm designing, I think, what is going to excite me? What? Because I've seen so many products over the years, and I want something new, and I want something interesting. And um, it, it's that. It's that. Oh, I want to play with that, or I want to see how that works. And, and that's what I want our dye sets to you do. See, you, can do, you can do this at some point. Right, then. We <laughs> are coming back to the be continued uh, demonstration. We started this in the last, towards the end of the last hour. So, where so we to? this this is to kit to be completely authentic. Do you see? I've got a little um, blob of um, <laughs> embossing powder in the die set. There are so many little extra um, small dies. You know, look if you um, have an ink smudge and you put a butterfly on your yes. card. Yes, that trick. So I was looking just now, and there's some um, flowers and little extra flourishes, and I very nearly did it. And I I thought I don't might wonder why the heat gun's going off in the corner, but um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I've kept I've kept it authentic. Here. So this is the largest um, aperture done. I'm going to use this one. So remember, you've got the arrows on there as well. I'm, I only noticed when we were just talking about it there. So all the arrows tally up to where the slots will be. So you can you can choose where you want them to be. Um, but if you if you want them, because I, I could put them horizontal and have the first connecting point um, this way. Also, I've um, pre die cut some um, frames to save time. But what I do if I'm putting an aperture one, I don't like to crowd them too much because um, depending on your die cutting machine, the pressure um, gets um, dispersed. And um, so you might not get sort of maximum pressure from your machine, but you can cut um, multiple frames in one go. So okay. you might, so you might, especially with the gradients, it's, it's quite nice to do that. So I'm just going to um, cut this okay. aperture. 
Details are on the screen at the moment for the complete collection. 151198 is your item number. £73.95 for that complete collection. We're very busy for the complete collection. That means you're getting everything. Everything that we're talking about at the moment will be coming to work. It's also split onto flexible payments as well, uh, which is good. £36. £36.98 means it will be sent to you, uh, dispatched from the 2nd of March. Um, within a few days after the 2nd of March, you'll be getting this on your doorstep and you can be creating beautiful cards. And then we won't ask for another payment until a month's time. But as we said in the earlier hour, you can make and sell. So if you've got craft fairs coming up, how wonderful is just to make a load of card blanks and then they can pick the inner circles that they want, if you wanted to. So I've got some frames that I'll just bring to show. These are cards. With mirror card, <gasps> how nice are they? Look at them. I know, and the the, the um, waste pieces come out so easy from that as well. That takes mirror card to a whole new level, though. There's only a bit of mirror it? card. You think, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit much. So another great tip is um, one of our design team members, Angela Dodson. She found that there's now a double-sided glitter card. Oh. I know. Which, because um, if you turn this over, I'm going to ink these in a second, perfectly lends itself um, to making these spinning frames because you're going to have both sides glitter. It's quite unusual. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But um, I also, I'll, I'll show um, spray inks and also heat embossing the frames as well because that's so easy and you can create that yourself. Well, even your um, sort of your leftover paper, so when you, if you're using like your pearly inks and stuff like that, you know the paper that you go on to? You could yes. do your small ones out of those, as long as it's a thick enough cardstock, and then you could really start using them up. Absolutely. Because because the frames are all different sizes, I've, I've kept all of my scrap pieces of card because it's just so... I'm going to go multi, just like the card. Um, you can use this, you use your scraps. What's the lowest GSM we could go with with this? If we were making... Say we've got some card at home, we're thinking... I've got some car stock. I've got your car stock, but that's amazing. I've got the 300 GSM, but I've still got some car stock knocking around at home, 200, 250. So 250, I would so say. So 250 I mean, is that cut off. You're welcome to try. Some of the um, design team members try 200, but um, the, the frames, because the card is more flexible, you might find that it is easy to pop out of the aperture. Okay. So you want it to be quite rigid um, card. Um, and 300 is the maximum or is it because they're quite skinny dies it's probably the um, maximum that they'll um, cut easily well, give it a go though on. give it a go and depend of course of course yeah but we, we're going 250 tops so don't go anything below 250 until you get that clean crisp i have, uh, have a go um, with it. i've um, backed the the cards um the frames back to back as well and so you can do that if you wanted it um particularly strong but you won't get that sort of a gentle free spinning because it's um, more rigid in the slot. It's going to be less. Um, do you know? I will. I will show you. Um, there is a way. Just Ooh, don't let me I'm just divert. It's okay. It's okay. This is going to be quick in a minute. Um, you can lock them as well. So it, oh. um, if you want. So <laughs> when I connected them, I've got the um, the right side up on both. There we go. So um, this is at the front and this is at the front. But if you alternate. So you've got one at the front, so the left side is at the front on this side, and the right side, it won't actually spin. So oh you can, word. so I'll just do that again. So you could have them fixed in place if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, so if you just wanted it to look, there you go, see? And I'd do the same with the, with the heart as well, but it won't, it won't spin then. So you, could, you can choose which frame spin um, if you want so you to alternate. Yeah, you could. Oh, okay. So you could have so, that one, that one to spin, and you yes. could leave the outside if you wanted. Yes, yeah, so it still looks um, really lacy. Wow. So it's that mix and match, isn't it? <laughs> Another reason. Another. Re there's, there hasn't been so far. There's not been a question where you've actually gone. No, you can't do that. No, I wouldn't. Well, try it. <laughs> we're Could still. So much you can do. As we're crafting, and this is the design team as well. After as we're crafting with it, we're discovering more and more things um, and they, they've all said and, it's, and it means so much when they're um, enjoying crafting with it. I'm so glad you're going to have uh, more shows because I've got more ideas and I've just run out of time and that's lovely isn't it? That is, that is, that must be a nice little feeling. Yeah, because you just, you learn um, as you go and you think oh, I'm going to try this, or I'm going to try that and uh, yeah it's great. 
I'm chatting away. I think do you still I get, Do you still get that funny feeling? I always like asking this question. Do you get that funny feeling when you see your dyes for the first time in like real, real form? Like from paper form to dye form? Do you still think, oh, do you still get but little butterflies? Yes, it's, yeah, it's so, it's so nice. But then I'm usually um, product testing oh. and um, Katie and I are really um, very thorough and some might say fussy and so That's <laughs> way to be. I know we do put we put them through their um, paces pass that over now I have heat embossed because these um, this disc is going to spin I've already um, heat embossed the other side there we go um, and because I'm heat embossing this side as well I'm going to hold it up in the air because if you had it down on the um, mat and then you use the heat gun it's going to melt the reverse again and then it will stick to your mat ah. so if you're doing and I do this because um, often if I'm making my own mirror frame if I'm um, heat embossing both sides of a frame which I will show in one of my demos and I've got both sides covered in um, embossing powder just hold it up in the air otherwise it could get a bit messy oh, all that, all that time. but then there's one another one first you know, all the, you haven't got to start measuring where the notches go, you haven't got one inch cut there and one down there, and if they're slightly off, you're not going to spin with this every single time this thing will spin, unless you doesn't want it to spin, and then you just change which way you pop it into your card. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered to um, tell you that. And me. When I, <laughs> 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 when I discovered it, I thought, that is fantastic, and then I forgot to mention it, but um, yeah, it's just an another thing. Do you know what? People that are lucky enough to... Um, buy the, the bundle and um, have a play. I just know you're going to think of more things as well and I can't wait to um, to hear about it. That happened with our um, Magic Windows and a whole chand of viewers said, oh, if you use a tumble dryer sheet, it really helps it glide. And I didn't know that and it was crafters at home. You see? Sharing your crafters wisdom. Crafters are clever. You're ever so clever. <laughs> Look so at I'm doing this again, I'm just having fun. It's the, be <laughs> the best way. Just having fun, not telling what I'm doing. So um, the, the dies cut the notches. There we go. And they literally just slot together. And I'm slotting the right side, it's just the way that I do it, um, at the front. But as long as it's consistent, it doesn't matter if it's left side at the front or right. As long as you're consistent, it's gonna, you can see it's already spinning. So you don't need glue? Don't need red liner tape? No. Don't need a tape pen. No, it's rare for us to do something. It doesn't need a red liner tape. I know, no, <laughs> very rare for a craft not to come without red liner tape. <laughs> no, and what's nice is if you make a mistake, then you can look. It's already going. Look at that. So, I'm excited to send one of these in the post to someone because they're going to pull it out of the envelope, open it up, and it's just going to. You're going to get that movement. I'll hold it up for this. So remember, we started this demo in the first hour. You can watch that back on Rewind. Uh, it was towards the end of the first hour. And now this is the finished card. How beautiful does that look? And once again, you can be creating this at home as well. Uh, there are loads of... There are, you always know a, set, a good set of dies when there are hundreds of finished samples that we walk about. And it's hard to choose what you're going to look at. So they've put together this beautiful little video. Ooh, nice. Staying here, go straight to another demo. Okay. Oh, give me a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that type of music and then you've got the cards beautifully spinning and then my favorite glow uh, we've not even spoke about how you can put them in uh, create your own journals look at this for a little journal so then 
a secret with the key look with the key on the side now if you did them out of um shrink plastic so you could have the little emblems down the side with the little diary that's in there uh, and you could go to town this one once again with the paper that you're getting so you can use the flood leaves like the little locks uh, that's on there as well how beautiful uh, is that I have just noticed it during that little VT then. Uh, right then, we've stayed at the demonstration area because I'm going nowhere because I'm fascinated with this. Because you, you wanted to surprise me. We'll go straight into keep, another demo. You've got on one minute. Yeah, go, keep go. You on, keep you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to make a different card, which is this one. And it was inspired by Trish on the design team. She made a similar card. <coughs> Here, I'll hold that one up alongside it. Look at those. So you really make it. Do you know what? She helped me be brave with my vintage stamps. Did and she? And go out of my comfort zone. Because look at the positioning of the key. And um, she's got some stenciling here. And I saw this. I thought that is so striking. And so that is my version. But credit to Trish because it was a fantastic idea. Are you normally clean lines? And do you like everything straight and linear? So... That's what I've worked out. I think I've been, um, because I've been doing kinetic cards and it's all very precise, then it's been, and also my background is the magazine, and um, the magazine that I worked for, it was quite um, a modern style. So it's all linear lines, so was, angles. Yes, yeah, quite, um, quite clean, quite crisp, and um, this, but if you backtrack even more, um, my degree is textiles and surface pattern. Oh, okay. So I do, I do like um, textures and getting a little bit messy. And I remember screen printing and stuff like that. So actually, I feel like a kid in You've come full a sweet circle again, shop with were. this stuff. Yes, because I just think I'm going out of my comfort zone. But actually, I'm loving it, and it's just, it's just such good fun. They are nice, especially cards like this, like very good uh, for like Father's Day. Um, so them, them sort of anniversary, the, the standard cards that you never know what to get. Because normally for men it's either a, 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 crick, a lonesome cricketer, a sports car that you don't even know what it is, yep. or a man playing football yep. with, with football that you've not seen for years, or a, a, just a tankard of beer. It's a little bit gadgety, isn't it? This? It is. And you know, what's so interesting is, so this card that I'm, I would be great for, a card for men, but the same stencil, um, tomorrow I will do some heat embossing with pearl on a sort of pink and purple, and it looks like a princess, beautiful princess card, yeah. whereas different, change the colour scheme, and you've got a completely different look. And that's what I like about them. I like for the sheer fact you change the colour, you've got a whole new look. Sorry, don't let me stop you. Uh, no, no, it's fine. I'm just going to keep this hard because there's quite a lot going on. So okay. I've got um, I'm like, oh, I'll just remember what I'm doing because I'm just going to get. If I start deviating into being creative, we're going to be here all day. So I'm going to use the Pearly Winks and Pumpkin Orange. Pearly Winks are great. Well, Donna's emailed in from Pearly Winks. Oh, Donna! Uh, well, what can I say? Uh, what an amazing concept. No, the, like, what a time for the pressure of using the sprays correctly. Yeah, here we watching. go. Yep, here we go. Just don't turn them upside down. I got told off for that. What, the sprays? Swirl them. Well, this doesn't have any. This oh, is just right, the um, ink. And, she told um, me off many a time during that show. <laughs> I bet she did. She did. You probably deserved it. <laughs> I'm going to side with Donna. <laughs> Oh, this just took a turn in the second hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how quick was that? I've just uh, quickly removed the um, stencil so I don't get inky, but that is just so oh, So you've quick. not even repositioned it, you literally just sprayed through so, and that's where the... Okay, I'll bring it back, I'll bring it back, Adam. I've got one I here. think uh, I'm going to get covered in ink. So, I, I didn't mask it, I just placed it over. And then just sprayed straight through. Spray straight through. Oh, look at that! In one go. Well, oh, that is nice. I'm going to just quickly blast it because I want to um, die cut okay. straight away. They are really quick to dry. Um, so texture paste, you get that really crisp, um, I should find another card that I can show you, um, crisp um, example of the stencil. So the sprays give a lovely sort of diffused look to it. Why do you take a few with the stencils on? I've got this one. I've got three here. Yeah. Uh, so these are just with the stencils. Maybe you just want to use the stencils and some of the stamps that you've got in there and a few mats and layers. Uh, or, I think if I open these up, the magic is when you open them. Um, you, they swirl. Look how they beautifully swirl in there. Once again, using the stencil that you can see on there. And then, oh, Trish has gone to town. Look at that. That's the lock. So you see how that one's locked, but these ones are free to turn. So you can lock them into position if you want to. There we go. So I've just taken the large um, plain circle and I've positioned it at an angle. 
I just found another sample that I've not shown. Have you? <laughs> I think I've got quite a few hidden That's away, actually. The, the more I look down here, the, I will leave some for Catherine, but um, there are like lanterns that you've made out of them. So, the 9 pm show, I will find the, the heavy texture paste because Rich is going to be doing some of that anyway. Okay. But um, there's a really nice card sample. Um, that I'll find so, Rich is here at 9 tonight. And are yes, you back tomorrow? I am. Back tomorrow. It was the nine and the nine that confused you earlier, wasn't it? Was, it? I was yeah. Like, oh, you didn't like that. <laughs> My funny shift they Well, Rich isn't um, he he knows about the products, um, but he isn't actually a crafter. And so you'll get to see um, how a novice really gets to I know, scary. But um, he's he's gonna do great. He's gonna do great. Um, but you'll get to see how easy it is because he's not experienced and um, he uh, He's had a go and he loves it, and um, yeah, he's going to be doing some demos. Who knows what's going to happen at 9 o'clock tonight? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> he's really entertaining to watch. That's always good. Yeah. That's how I've made a career so far. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just cut that um, aperture at an angle, and I'm going to use some distress oxide. I even like the waste, though, that comes out of the circular. So this is actually. It did rush, but I don't know if I... Oh, sorry, I haven't diverted no, you again. No, 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 it's, it's OK, it's, it's fine. Um, so you can cut the one of the frames from that. I might do that because I think it's I think it's vanished, so I might um, die cut one in a second. Is it one of these? Do you mean to, to die cut it? Yeah. Yeah, no. it will be here, so I've got... Um, that's the brown one, that's the greeting, so I'm going to go just that one and then the inner circle. Yeah, thank you. I'm like a service. I've got, <laughs> I've got um, one more demo that we might be able to fit. Yeah, we should be able to fit in. It's a tool card with three apertures as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been cutting one aperture, but you can cut uh, multi ones as well. It's great. So, stumps. Sorry, I forgot I'm on the TV. I'm just tidying. Uh, just details <laughs> are on the screen at the moment. <laughs> I was just sorting everything out here. <laughs> I, I forgot where I was. Uh, details on the screen for the complete collection. £36.98. <laughs> genuinely forgot I was on the telly. Uh, £36.98 for the people watching. Uh, 151198 is your item number for that complete collection. Very busy across the board on your complete collection. I know, I'm so professional. Oh, dear. Uh, how much of the stock has gone to the large collection? Approaching 40% of the what? large collection has now oh, gone. Thank you. Although that is sad, it's also thank you so much. And um, I know you're going to love crafting with it, so it's very exciting for us. I'm just having a play, so oh, I'm just um, picking, up, picking up. What I'm going to do, and what um, Trish's card was so great, is she had, um, she had a light brown and a dark brown, and it really created um, dimension. But there's also a card that I created here that's got the um, the copper. <gasps> Look at that! So <clears throat> I'm not going to do heat embossing because I've done that recently, but um, I know. Look at the heat embossing and the um, the chains. It's great. It really, especially this in the centre, that that literally looks like copper in the centre. Look at that. There's so many, there's so many different layers you can put on as well. So look at the backgrounds that you're getting in there as well with your beautiful stamps that you've got. Uh, there's so much you can do. So much. I see. I'm enjoying myself, and I've gone quiet. I can, I can. No, me know, as well. I know what we like. It's not good. <laughs> I, I just end up watching. Like, like you like, I'm just <laughs> literally just standing. I've do got it, the best seat in the house. It's because this card. What's so nice about it is it's using lots of different elements from the stamps, and you're just picking up and playing, and just um, yeah, choosing what you want. So, would you say when people get this home? to cut everything out first, maybe out of copy of paper, just to see how they cut and how the mechanism 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 works? Or would you say just go for the cards that you, you want to make? You don't need to worry. Oh, you don't need to, okay. You don't need to be precious about it. They, they connect um, perfectly, and um, as long as you're using 250 GSM, if you want to use white card to start off with, that's absolutely fine. Um, as long as you're using 250 or more, 300's um, the best, really. Um, you're going to be fine, and they just—they literally just slot together, top See? and bottom. 
You can't go wrong. So don't be. What I'm trying to say is, don't be scared when you get them home, because many people get. It's quite daunting to get a large collection home. You go, right, where do I start now? What do I do now? There's so much inspiration. There's so much inspiration out there. Watch these shows back on uh, Rewind as well and get the inspiration from the live demonstrations that we've had in the studio. Maybe start with one of these as like a little, a little mini craft along if you want. Because each card is made in real time so you can also create this as well. I'm just going to have inky stamps everywhere. This is... Um, <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Look at that. I know, I might put, I've put another one down there, just quite random. So what That's colours really nice. are you, I know people love colours, uh, what colours are you using at the moment? This is, um, a, this is chocolate chips, so it's basically a dark brown, so this is chocolate chip dye ink. And um, when I, just, this is a really old pad, it's at least 10 years old. But the dye ink just really seemed to capture the crisp sketching yeah, that, that I, I'll just hold it there. Um, so all of that sort of sketching as I was drawing the keys, it's, it really captures it. But then I also love the Distress Ink. It's not quite as crisp, but it's, it's great for creating those, um, those backgrounds. Where do you get all your inspiration from? For... for like, like the keys and the chains and those sort of stuff. Um, like, all the, like all the stamps. So where did all these, where's all the inspiration? <sighs> Was it a mixture of things I just, or I just, things you see? So um, I wanted to do vintage and I just drew what I loved. Um, I love pattern. I'm very inspired by patterns. Um, so that pa pattern was a, was a big element in that. I just realised that my um, stencil is covered in um, um, ink. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to stencil a little lot, but it's, it's oh. there on the, on the other pattern. Right. Yeah, I've just gone into playing now. We're just playing. <laughs> that's, that's, play. that's what the, people like. They like they like watching the playing. They like it out there because then they get all the ideas and they get all creative. Oh, that's what it's about, though. You're made with love. Actually, do you know what? This is a really good tip. I'm well. not going. I'm not going to stamp this circle. I'm going to wait because what I have done with this one is I changed the angles. So I'm going to die cut this piece and I'll show you why now. This is actually a really good, um, a really good thing to talk about. So I had pre-cut everything, but I've lost one. We're not gonna worry. I'm gonna quickly die cut that now. So this is the piece here that I'm going to die cut. And I'm going to use the waist um, from here because it's just, it's nice to have that, that pattern. Again, so that's the, the top and I'm going to offset it because this one is going to spin differently. Okay. Remember as well, everything that you're currently using on the show as well, everything that we've got on the show, you can be bought individually. So if you want the dies, you can get the dies individually. If you want the paper, you can get the paper individually. If you want the stencils, you get the stencils individually. Uh, if you want the stamps, you can get them individually as well. Everything is bought individually if you want, or you can buy the complete one day special bundle and you get the eight pound saving and flexi as well. That's the big thing, you'll get that flexi on that big bundle. So if you want the large bundle, which means you get everything, in the deal, you're saving eight pounds. Uh, then you also get that flexible payments as well. You get two flexible payments of thirty-six pounds and ninety-eight pence, which also means then you can pop in anything else into your basket, and it was split onto two interest-free flexible payments. Maybe you want uh, an extra card pack that you want to pop in there. Maybe you want uh, another set of stamps for a friend. It's entirely up to you what you want to put in there, but it will split the cost onto those two interest-free flexible payments for you. So I'm just adding a back to the front of the card. Stamp. Okay. Now I'm going to connect these frames and you'll see why I didn't want to stamp the greeting first. The nice thing is you can disconnect the pieces if you wanted to and put them back together. Um, but the reason is if you have the slots all going vertically, it's really obvious to see where you want to stamp. Okay. But you obviously want your, your greeting to be the right way up. So do you see? No. So if I if I had just stamped it there when I made my card, it my greeting would have been um, off that way. So what I tend to do is I actually connect it. Now you could either just remember, or you could just stamp it directly, which I'm going to do. See these little hints and tips that we all love. Do you know it's trial and error? So I tried it, had a wonky greeting, and thought, oh, I'll, I've learned from that. I will um, I'll try that again. There we go. Just go for this one. Ooh. 
once again, look how quick and easy you can make a, such a beautiful card. That was quick, wasn't it? It was. That, that was, was quite really speedy. quick. Yeah, it's not that different from the one I spent a little bit longer. It's Just really a bit more not... shading. There yeah. is so, but you could go, you could leave it like that, or you could go to town. It's entirely up to you. We're very busy across the board on the second live hour. Jump to the website. Everything is on there for you. You can see everything individually if you want them individually as well, or. You can go for the complete bundle, but you have got things like the stamps that are there individually at £22.99. pounds. That extra paper pad as well at eleven ninety nine. that cardstock. I know I keep saying paper because normally in these sorts of bundles you would get a beautiful paper pack that goes with it. Not this time. No, no, no. You are getting 300 GSM card is what you are getting in gradients of colours as well. A4 cardstock is what you are getting and it is beautiful. Uh, you've also got the stencils on their own as well. Uh, there is so much that you are getting but the value the saving the money that you're going to save in these is the eight pound saving is if you go for the larger bundle but what is included in this larger bundle let me tell you so the details, I don't know what happened then. The details are on the side of the screen. 151198 is your item number. You'll always find this at the top of the screen. And then you've got your items that you're currently buying. And then it gives you all the information that you need. The most important information, though, is that big red box that's on the screen. Two flexible payments of £36.98, plus your postage and packaging. If you're a Freedom member, that is a delivered price to your door. £36.98 90, delivered to your door today. And you are getting, he says, a wealth of dies that mix and match perfectly together. They are beautiful, is what they are. They've all got the little notches on the top. You can see the sign little arrows. And each one will mix with its friends just next door. You also get your greeting cards holder as well. And I'll show you that in a minute when we look at the finished samples. From then, these are ones they've cut out. This is what you're going to look like. So they are, be they are beautiful just on their own. Maybe you want to use apertures and just use these on the fronts of your cards if you wanted to. Or you can cut them out in sec in um, in singles but then once again you can go more ornate but then you get the beautiful stamps that go around the outside these are included in your bundle so you have these gorgeous stamps that are now included in your bundle you get the keys you get the lock that's in there as well you even get the hinge that's in it that we saw on the side of that binder that, that little book that we we're looking at you even get the hinge in there congratulations is the sentiment uh, made with love you are uh, you make my world spin See what they've done there? Uh, you make me worse. It's been a happy anniversary that you've got there. And then you've got the circles as well. So your thank yous, uh, make a wish. Uh, if you leave them whole, you can also create beautiful uh, borders as well around on the inside. But then they've also thrown in stencils on top of these. So you're also getting two of your stencils. Well, it's uh, two A4 stencils is what you're getting because you're getting so many that's on here. This itself is massive. This is huge for a stencil and it's a large A4 stencil as well. But not only are you getting all of these, you are then also getting your cardstock as well. Now your cardstock is beautiful. Just look at the colourways that you've got on there. This book goes on and on. You get so much. You are getting 24 double-sided sheets on here. All gradient, eight designs of each. Beautiful 300 GSM cardstock. So all of that is £73.95. £36.98 across two flexible payments. Uh, but you could go as big or as little as you want. So you could go things like that. Look at this. That is, I think that's two A4s I'm going for there, but look at the size of that. So you could go from that all the way to that. It's entirely up to you what size you want to do and where you want to go. But look at the size difference that you've got there. And then you've got things like this as well. Sandra, Sandra's exceeders. Oh, look at these. So you've got those beautiful, I don't know what sort of card this is though. So, um, no, Mountains and Valleys. It's a beautiful card. That's what it is, Adam. Beautiful. Uh, I can't remember the name of the card. Uh, so you've got these beautiful, so you've got beautiful inserts as well. Sorry, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting all excited. But then, I was going to save this for Catherine, but I thought, no, I'm going to do it instead. Uh, then, look at this. How beautiful. On a wedding day, maybe you put little photos in there. Maybe this is a little keepsake 
that you've got going on. You've got the beautiful, I, I'm trying to hold it still so you can see on the inside, you've got the beautiful spinner on the inside with the two sets of keys that are on there. Maybe someone's just moved into a house, but then once again, it will all fit flat if you want it to. The possibility, I thought I was going to go, the possibilities are endless. You know I'm drawn. I'm drawn to a globe. I do love a good globe. Oh, look at that load. Cut half away, keep the notches in there, and you can create a beautiful globe as well. You know what I'm going to say. Give the call centre a call, jump to the website, or tap the app. We're very, very busy across the board. Uh, this is what you're going to get when the whole pack shop went for a beautiful photo shoot. Uh, everything is on. I've made a right mess behind here. Uh, everything is on extended delivery from the 2nd of March. So the 2nd of March is when it'll be. So it's only a week away. That will, it will fly by before you know where it was. Is it was. It's pancake day tomorrow, I think. Uh, it is pancake day tomorrow. Show shoes this tomorrow. So by the time you've got over your pancakes, it'll be here. Be on your doorstep before you know. Uh, right then, we're back. Demonstration area. We've only got 20 minutes left of the show. Okay. So, it's all yours. I will crack up when you get over your pancakes. Those are I great know. I do like pancake special. day then. Do you? How many do you eat? How many? Yes. Well, I'm here to. I don't get home until now. I don't get home until about half nine. So I won't have many because I've got to go to bed. Oh, I see. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, re I'll rest funny. <laughs> rest funny? I won't rest funny at all because I'm, I'm gripped at the moment onto a Netflix series. Are you? <gasps> the Stranger. Oh, Other ones are available. The Crown, I've got into that as well. Lots of it. Yeah, The Stranger, it's ever so good. It's a bit scary. It's not scary, it? but it's one, of them, it's one of them that makes you think, and now I can't sleep at night at all. At all. I was about to ask what it's about, but you probably I can't say I know probably, I don't. Yeah. yeah, it's about Stranger. That's all I can really tell you, Angela. <laughs> so I'm though. using the blue. Oh, yeah. I like this blue. Yes. And I have folded, in, you can see here, instead of... Um, you know, the usual A5. I folded it lengthwise to make a tall card. And are we get, am I right in saying we're getting three sheets of each? It's so you get three sheets of each. So you could do cards like this, obviously. You need one for your back and then you're cutting as well. So you do get three, so you could make three of the same card. Yes, you could, yeah. Which is great if you're, um, I don't know, making them to sell at craft fair or making them for charity. And I'm guessing as well that uh, most of them will run through after they'll all run through your big um, cutting um, die machines. So you can use them on the smaller A5 um, platform. You I'm using an A4 just because that's what I have. A5. But you, yeah, A5 is absolutely fine. There you go. That's what I was getting to. Yeah, I understood. Yeah. So. <laughs> I just went around the houses just in case someone told me, no, you can't use them, so I thought I'd take a little bit of time. <laughs> so I've cut three apertures in that one. And I'm going to do some heat and bottling, some greetings. So I've pre-cut, die-cut some, of, and I've just used the same, um, the same frames. You see, I've pre-prepared that one. That one needs a stamp. You've got to make a look. So, um, by the way, I found that um, card that I was talking about there. <gasps> Look at this. That's a nice Look at that. Now, see, look, I know, that teal and the copper <gasps> is just so striking. Oh, my. That is beautiful. How, stri how striking is that? Got a beautiful shine. That would be a card that you would get out. That would be a keeper card. Yes. You know, some of them just go. You have them for your birthday, then they all. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm terrible. I keep everything. Um, but that would be a card that you keep and you store and you keep as a memory. I do that. It means so much when somebody makes you a handmade card. That's why we do it. Um, yeah, I always keep handmade cards. Does your mm. uh, does your um, your daughter make you lots yeah, of? Yeah. Yes. Lots of random bits of paper cut up. <laughs> Do you end up with a lot? Mm, we do, and then we slowly filter it to the recycling. No! The stuff we keep, if it's got her name on, and that makes me sound like a terrible father, <laughs> uh, if it's got her name on, obviously, and if it's something that the teacher's given me, Adam, this is for you, this is what Molly's made, fabulous. If it's something I find stuffed in the bottom of a bag, because because of working here, you see, um, everything she's into, she's so into crafting. Oh, they um, do love crafting. I, I told this story a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, we found out, we got up early and she was sitting on a little table crafting like she does with the pens and stuff and she was just reading out numbers but all she was doing was copying me reading out numbers on the tv and she was just holding up bits of paper 
1749 13 15 17. And she was just copying what I do on the telly, you see. So we do get a lot of just scrap paper with Daddy, can you give this? And she's obsessed with Janice and Catherine at the moment. Is she? Obsessed. When they come on TV? Yeah. yeah. So I have to watch Janice and Catherine a lot at home. Good. So some people like Mr. Tumble, I have to watch Janice and Catherine. She has Which good watching taste. Janice is more or less the same, to be fair. I love that she might turn out to be a master crafter because um, she's starting at such a young age and she's picking up all the tips. <laughs> no, she, is. She, she loves a bit of crafting. That is she, great. We've, we've just bought her first set of stamps. Oh. So be, we, she doesn't know yet, they're hidden in the wardrobe. But um, next day off I get, which will be Wednesday, we're, we're going to try stamping. That is so cute. My kids obviously love crafting with me. It, the, if you ask them what they want to do, that is their treat. But I think it's because they see all, all of these things I have and it looks like such fun yeah. and that's what they want to do. But don't you find getting the kids involved that they open up and they talk more? Yes. And you can get more out of them. Like, don't get me wrong. Mole's got an iPad, well she hasn't got an iPad, it's a kid's one, but she's got the tablets and stuff like that and she's, she's a whiz on them, she's better than me, she knows what she's doing. But when you can get her with a set of pens or a set of crayons, just sitting there colouring, you can get so much out of her and she becomes like a whole new person. Oh, I it just, just, I love it. It's she amazing to do. She does crafting at nursery as well, she made me a Valentine's card and just said, um, I love my mummy because I love her. Oh. And oh, I know. <laughs> no, we didn't get anything with Valentine's. And then, she normally brings other kids' stuff home. Oh, really? Yeah, we've had a lot of other children's stuff in a bag. <laughs> Why have you bought this? Because I liked it. <laughs> Very nice. Oh. But it's not yours. <laughs> that is quite funny. <laughs> we don't know how she gets it, though, because I'm guessing the teachers give it her. We're like, oh, shouldn't you really give it to the... <laughs> Bless her. So I'm going to quickly... Oh. Decorate the front of the. Oh, we've got a bit of time. That's okay. Oh, we've got ages. Yeah, we've got eight that's and a half okay. minutes. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. We can relax. We've been very, very. I know we've been chatting away, but what you do is crafters. You send here and chat. Uh, you can rewatch the first hour on Rewind if you're thinking this was a double. Where did the, where did the first hour go? Uh, you can watch it on Rewind as well if you want to. So you're going to get all the hints and tips from the first hour. Ooh. Uh, oh, oh uh, no. <gasps> that's fine. That's what fine. happens now? Well, the. It's kind of handy because I'm creating a really random pattern and uh, it's just going to look great. So, does anyone else throw their acrylic blocks across the card? <laughs> I actually, it's not just here, I do that. It's because I'm usually rushing quickly, quickly. That was your ages. Yeah. It's, honestly, I, that doesn't bother me. Normally, things like that would bother me, but it's going to look great on the card, so it's fine. <laughs> there's, um, I was saying there's lots of um, flourishes and, and details and things. And I'm just basically creating the look of patterned paper with a, you know, an ink that's quite similar to the color, the color of the card. So you might have, there's, you know, there's pinks and purples. You might have those at home. Just u use what you have in your um, stash, really. So what time are you back tomorrow? Nine o'clock. So nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes. With another look at your one day special. Yes. And then at one o'clock, Zoe from the design team. She's going to be doing some demos. Oh, it's a whole, it's a family affair, <laughs> this one day special. I know. It's quite nice, actually, because um, I think it's something she's excited about. And um, she is very much into mixed media. So she'll be doing something special with that. And that'll be great to see. And it's, it's nice to get a different take, a different style. No, that's a bit of So we've got, uh, you're in at nine. Yes. We've got Zoe on at one. Who's on at five? That's me again. With Janice. Oh, we always have a giggle. Bless you. Thank you. I can only, ap only apologise. Oh, she's fantastic. Don't tell her that, though. <laughs> I will. Jeez, I love our Janice. Love our Janice. Oh, she's great. You want, I'm just going to leave that one there. Okay. Is, I like the way I like this. I like this random design you're doing. It, do, it does uh, make like it's an actual backing paper. So this is honestly why I wasn't worried about the, um, you know, that because it just doesn't. It, it doesn't show. Dinner, yeah, no. So let's connect some frames. So this is. I'll just bring the die set over. I've used this die here and the inner circle one, and just lined up those two triangles again and okay. that's how I cut those pieces and I'm going to alternate so there's a slot here and a slot here and you just 
You will need to flex the card slightly because it's such a perfect fit. You see, I'm flexing it there. Yeah. Um, but that means that you can go like this, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall out. So that's why you need like the 300 GSM that will really hold its, <laughs> yes, hold its own. Yes, absolutely. It You'll find that when you're um, cutting them, the smallest one, which is the heart, if you if you take it right down to the smallest. Um, that one, you'll notice that you're flexing it the most, um, just because you know you have to sort of bend it around your finger a little bit to sort of tuck it yeah. into the slot. Um, and it's a good idea to start with the smaller ones first. So I would connect the heart, and then I would connect it to say this you one, and then I would attach it to your um, larger frames. Because if you start with the larger ones and then go right down, you're going to have all of those frames in your hands, and you'll be trying to flex the um, heart. So that's and they're a all good tip. Pop out if you think, yeah, oh, we like put that in the instructions because I thought it would be a, a useful tip to have. We've not even mentioned the instructions. You get full instructions with these as well. You get yeah. full instructions on here on how they all go together. So don't throw these away. So you get full <laughs> instructions in the packaging on how everything works. So if you're thinking, oh, this is amazing, but I don't, they're not dispatched till the 2nd of March, never fear. Everything is in here for you. Uh, so, to just keep keep hold of it, it's good to have as a reference, I feel. Look at this card. So, do you know, I really wanted to have a box frame and make a family tree. And so I know, and have the sort of hanging apertures with um, everyone's name. I thought that one be good. I know, look at that. Look at that now. So how quick, once again, mm. and simple, you can turn to an elegant card. There is so much you can do. And like I said, box frames as well is beautiful that's in there. Um, the best thing to do is, let's have a look at what you're getting. This is what you're getting. You're getting so much is what you're getting. Uh, you get everything that you see in the kit for 73 pounds and 95 pence. Two flexible payments of 36 pounds and 98 pence today. And then in a month's time, £36.98 again. But after that first flexible payment, we will send everything out to you. So you can start playing straight away. And that's what I really mean. You really can start playing when you get this home. Because you get everything in this kit. All you really need when you get home is a die cutting machine and some ink. Because everything else has been provided for you. You've really gone to town and gave everyone everything they need with this bundle which is amazing we had so much fun designing it everyone that's managed to get hold of it is loving crafting with it so yeah it's just it feels very good it was, it's very very lovely that they're um, able to buy it and i hope you enjoy using it too you will, and you are loving it as well remember over 40 percent now of the complete kit has already gone the details for that complete kit are still on the side of your screen at 151198 but if you're thinking, well, Adam, that is, that is beautiful and thank you very much. You've put it on two flexible payments of £36.98. Uh, you can go for things individually. If your budget won't stretch that far, but maybe you only want a few of the elements, it's entirely up to you. But go with wherever your budget will go to. I don't want to poke you or prod you in ways you shouldn't be poked or prodded, because uh, that's why I'm not what I'm here for. I'm trying here to get you the best deal possible, and the best deal is the complete kit, because you're saving that eight pounds, and it is on two flexible payments as well. Mm. Let's quickly go through what you're actually getting. Now, we'll start with the stencils mm -hmm. this time, because um, stencils is a new sort of territory for yourself. Is, these are our first ever stencils, um, and we're just really enjoying using them. Yeah, you get four different designs, but you can use them all in one go, or just elements of it, um, yeah. They are beautiful, so you remember, these are A4 stencils of what you're getting here, and this one itself is huge. This is massive. So think about your home decals now as well. Then we move into the wonderful world of stamps that we've got here as well. So you are getting all these stamps that you see on this side. It's a full A4 sheet of stamps. And then here are sort of the negatives of what you can do if you don't cut out your sort of inserts. Absolutely. So this shows you what you could do if you had a solid panel where you could stamp um, or if you had a frame um, where you could stamp those circular greetings. So you see there's so many possibilities. You get all the fleur de leaves that are in here as well, the keys, the locks. Once you get playing with those, it's quite addictive. There is so much. <laughs> and then it's the pièce de résistance. It's, it's the mechanism behind it. So these are just some of the elements that you can cut out from the dies that you're actually getting. Yeah, so you can choose um, circles or the decorative um, apertures. And then these are what they look like when they cut out. So the innies and the outies as they were. So technically you would cut this out and then, or you could also leave it like this if you wanted to as well. You can, yeah, so you can use the two dies together, the outer and the inner die and cut a frame or just the outer one and cut the solid panel. And then this is what the dies look like. Oh, look at that. Uh, everything you need, but then, what? Th I love this. This is an amazing little addition. Because you didn't have to put that in, because you still get all the mechanism. But this is like your gift card holder. Yes. 
So you can make spinning panels where you reveal a gift card on the other side of the panel, or you could put a gift card inside your card, but it's So you're getting useful. all 14 of the dies is what you are getting. Um, I have a funny feeling it's going to be, it, we normally say it's going to be stock or clock for these one day specials. I have a funny feeling it's going to be the stock. Uh, we're very busy. Remember, 9 o'clock this evening, Rich is back tonight as well. Oh. Uh, one show not to be missed as well, because it'll be a, another look on the one day special, another concept. Yeah. He's using crackle texture paste, oh. and it's good. And that'll be with our Catherine. Don't go anywhere. I will see you tomorrow afternoon as well. Uh, thank you very much. Thank I've you been, for having where me. Are these two it's hours been, gone? I know, just, just like that. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. I didn't even mention you get 300 GSM paper thrown in as well. Uh, don't go anywhere. The Quilter Bear is up next. And Catherine's got you for the next two hours. Keep her company. to Club G45 from Graphic 45. These are monthly tutorial kits that allow you to create beautiful projects by accessing step-by-step -step instructional videos that are viewable online. You'll get almost everything that you need to create both of these projects from scratch. The first kit is Club G45 Fashion Forward Calendar Tag Album and Treat Box Kit. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 920955 for £49.99 plus your postage from hachanda.com or give us a call on 01733 602000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. The second kit is Club G45 Fashion Forward Z Fold Front Flap Card Kit. Simply order yours by purchasing item number 973 636 for £34.99 plus your postage from hachanda.com or give us a call on 01733 602000 for instant access to this month's Club G45 from Graphic 45. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Good evening, everyone. Yes, uh, lovely hour ahead, of course, with the wonderful Kerry here. Wonderful to see you, Kerry. We've nice only worked you. together once before. Oh, we, know. we see each other all the time, but we don't tend to get a lot of shows no, together. No, we don't. So it was far. nice to be on the show with you this evening. Oh, wonderful. I'm looking forward to this because something very different for me. I've done lots of mixed media and moulds and that today. But we've got Quilted Bear for you. We've got some fabulous products as well. Starting right here with the scissors. Now, these are stylish. Really beautiful. They're really they beautiful. Gorgeous? What have we got here then? Because it's not just about the scissors, is it? We've got a whole gift set here. We have, yes. So they'll come in this beautiful presentation box. Your first little bundle that we've got has, this is a beautiful gift actually, it's beautiful for gifting. So we've got your scissors in there, we've got your little thimble. Your scissors are perfect for your embroidery or trimming your threads when you're finishing your project. And then we've got your um, beautiful heavyweight scissors in there as well. And These are just stunning. gorgeous. 
Now you've got a couple of choices then. So isn't the rose gold? Is that how we're classing the yes. colour there? Rose gold and the rainbow there. They are beautiful, aren't they? How do you choose between those? A great saving of £10 as well. It is a lovely gift if you want to treat yourself, of course. They're going to be perfect for your own needs. Nineteen ninety-nine is tonight's price. Six nine one five eight four is the item number. Rose gold is so so in, isn't yes, it? It's it been is, around yeah. for a while now and everybody yeah. seems to love rose gold. They do look very, yeah. very smart. They are, they're beautiful. But we can't take away from the quality because the quality is yeah. there as well, of course. And, and of course, we're not going to be able to show you that, but the weight in these scissors yeah. is fantastic. So you know you've got quality just by holding them. Um, which is really lovely. I particularly love the dressmaking scissors that we've got. Oh, they're coming um, up now, actually. We're going to give you the details of those. So the gift set right on screen at the moment, 691584. Uh, you've got 21 centimetres or nine and nine and a half centimetres. That's the size of the scissors, but you do get the pins, of course, and the thimble as well. Really beautiful set. But as Kerry said, we have got more for you. We've got some beautiful dressmaking scissors here as well. Now, 25 and a half centimetres is the length of these these are gorgeous as well so once again the rose gold we've got the rainbow in here now these are really really nice um, especially the dressmaking ones you've got that little ledge at the bottom yes. on the handle yeah. so when you're cutting you can put that against the yeah, table absolutely and you've got it just makes there. it much easier and the length of the scissors as well will just glide through your fabric as you're cutting through there which is what's beautiful about these I do not know I'm going to pick that they are heavy aren't they are they? really heavy yeah Oh, do you know, you know the quality is something by the weight, don't yeah. you? You can tell yeah. quality there. They feel amazing. This is the rainbow set. You can see the ledge that we're just talking about there. But you're not just getting these. You are getting the embroidery scissors as well, which are just as beautiful. Look at this. Look at the detail. The little stalk there. How gorgeous are they? Another lovely gift if you want to gift these, but of course quality items if you're buying for yourself as well. Another £10 saving on this set as well, £19.99, item number 820457. Now, of course, we've got to have fabric. We've got to have kits for you as well. So coming up next, we've got a lovely, lovely little set for you here. Now, we have got a limited option on this because there are options. In fact, it's the Shakespeare option that is the limited one, which is the one in the centre here. Now, these are satchel bag kit, the Sarah satchel bag kit, to be precise, um, Kerry. Well, tell us about this. So in your kit, everything cuts. The great thing about the kit is that they're all coming pre-cut. So if you want to just jump straight in and you want to sew your project in your afternoon then everything's pre-cut it's all labeled as well so oh, each wonderful. piece has a letter on there which I make reference to throughout the pattern in the booklet and of course if you enjoy making the pattern you've you'll you know you'll have the templates in there as well so you can continue to cut that and of course you are with all of my patterns welcome to sell these at your craft fairs um, which is a nice option. And that's important because these are your designs, yes. aren't they, Kerry? So you can see we've got the full instructions, you've got the pattern pieces, which are true to size as well. Uh, but as Kerry said, everything's cut out for you there. I, I love the fact that you've got the, the labels on there with yeah, all the really letters helpful. on there. So it's really beautiful. important that, you know, when using one of the patterns that you have got a heat erasable pen yeah. um, to use these with. And you've Wonderful. got your batting and also your magnetic clasp in your kit as well. So you've got everything there that you need. You just need your thread and your machine. Wow. You could, of course, hand sew. But All of the information's in there, even which direction you need to put the fabric, yeah. which it might sound obvious, but it's not always, is no, it? Sometimes no. we get it wrong. Uh, so you don't have to worry about anything. What a lovely, lovely project this makes. Twenty-four ninety-nine is the price. You have got the three options. The one that's most vulnerable is the one in the middle. We've got coral, we've got the blue at this end, and the Shakespeare one in the middle there. What a lovely size this is as well. Beautiful. And actually, if you have a little look inside, there's two extra pockets in there. Ooh. So um, really, this was designed for a lady who attends one of the classes, and she needed something quite easy to access. She's a, a teacher. Actually, I named the pattern Sarah after the lady. So you've got your patterns. Um, sorry, you've got your pockets on the inside of the bag, and you've also got your pockets on the outside of your bag. So lots Lovely. of space in there to organise really all your bits. Really do like those a lot. A lovely project to make. 393717 is the item number, of course. Now we've got some really lovely products coming up next. Now, this is the first time I've seen anything quite as decorative in with what we're showing yes. here, actually. So yeah. if you're not sure what these are, I'm sure if you're a soft crafter, you will know straight away. But these are your beautiful pattern weights. Now, you've got various different sets to choose from here. Now, we've got different sizes as well, haven't we, Carrie? Because yes. 
The one in the green canister or the green case there, you can see you've got six individual designs. Now these are four centimetres or 40 millimetres? Four, four millimetres. Lovely. 40 millimetres in width there or diameter of course. Look at the designs, they're so beautiful. absolutely beautiful. And then of course we have the other sizes where you've got four individual weights there. Now these are 60 millimetres or six centimetres. Now they are stunning these. Yeah. Aren't they just gorgeous? Really beautiful, really beautiful. There's some fabulous designs in here. And again, this is another project that once you feel the weight, you can really see yeah. how useful they are. So these are perfect really, especially for dressmakers. You know, pop your pattern on top of your fabric and just drop your weights on top to hold those in position when you're cutting around. Wonderful. And it's just lovely that they're they're lovely to look at, aren't they? Are, they? They're and really I, beautiful I to look at. I think there's a style that's going to suit everybody here. We've yeah. got quirky, we've got something, you know, that's great for Great Britain there. You've got, of course, those sort of vintage looks in there as well. The, I sewing, love the machines. sewing machines. Aren't they fabulous? Yeah. They really, really are. Wow, so lots of choices there for you. 565056 is the item number. 1499 is the price. In the lovely presentation box as well. Again, it's another great gift for somebody, it, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Lovely. Now we've got more patterns for you as well from our very own carrier, of course. Now we've got a pick and mix for you. We've got lots of options here for you. Now you choose any three in the pick and mix. Of course, you can go for more than three if you want to do so, but of course you've got to make sure it's in multiples of three. Now we've got some lovely samples we want to bring forward and show you here, but let's have a little look at these. Tell us about some of these uh, then, Kerry, because they're your designs again, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So um, the first selection that we can see there is the sewn with scraps. So this is um, pattern that are released really starting back in December um, and they were really popular so each time I've been on um, on the show I've been bringing a different bundle back so they're really designed to show you how to use up, yeah. use up your scraps your remnants of fabric um, you know your ends of bolts if you're working with that and also your ribbons and trims in there as well so they're really lovely there's some great little projects I try and make the projects really useful as well so you've got things there that you can see just as a um, it was actually supposed to be for a mirror a mirror and your lipstick but of course we're always going to put cottons and things <laughs> in there um, and then we've got the fat quarters as well so I tend to find a lot of people will buy fat quarters and just want some inspiration yeah. you know what to make with the fat quarters so I've themed those again around being useful so great to pop your sewing accessories but of course you can adapt the patterns as well and use them as jewellery rolls pencil rolls for the children um, earlier in the show um, at the four o'clock show I showed how to make the Linda um, Lotus bag that you just saw on screen there so if you want to watch that back nice easy project so they're all fast project in the sewing with scraps or fabulously fast fat quarter fun um, always, a, always a tongue twister to get that <laughs> out. I'm always very today. happy with myself when I say it first time too. Um, and then we've got things like a craft caddy. So this was designed, you know, if you go into classes and you want to take your projects. Um, we've got little tote bags in there. Touching on some really simple free motion. Um, a lot of the projects that I design are always storage based yeah. to make life a little bit easier. So you've got your Maya wall hanging there. Perfect for your um, sewing room. People who've made this in the past have sent me lovely photos of them using these and just putting some ribbons for the back of the car we've got a little clutch bag there which again perfect for your craft materials or even um, you know when you're going on holiday putting your um, sunglasses on and because the free motion tote bag was so popular I decided to make a cushion cover as well so that you've got the they're made in the same fabrics there but you've got a free motion again it's really quite simple so if you're thinking about having a go at free motion this just talks you through the stages of doing it how to change your foot um, and that's the craft caddy there that we touched on a little while ago so that's perfect fully reversible great for a project bag when you're you know especially when you're traveling and you can pop your pockets you've got your pockets on the inside and the outside so to pop your scissors and your accessories yeah. in there I love these for many reasons we're always saying don't throw your scraps away and we keep all sorts these are the projects of course that you can create from those scraps those fat quarters let's have a look at one or two samples at the back here as well let's bring one or two forward in fact we've got the cushion right at the top I'm going to bring that in with the bag as well <coughs> Kerry because okay. these go together don't they they yeah. are absolutely beautiful Do I have one you have so they're nice one. and bright this. nice and easy again this is definitely a project that you can you, that you know both of these just using scraps you get your templates in the patterns as well you get your cutting measurements so if like me you like working with a rotary cutter you can cut them by the measurement because that will always be on the back of your introduction letter um, but you've got the templates if you like to use your scissors to cut your templates with as well so great 
scrap buster project projects Definitely. I think these Definitely. are as well. And so many useful items here. In fact, I am just going to pick up as well. Let's just let me just pop that one there. The wall. I love this. I love this. This is the one that you could put on the back of a car seat. Yeah, with so the one of the ladies sent me a lovely photo there. and she just put just simply added ribbon to the top and then she's tied it onto the back of the car seats and I think she'd got a you know a grandson. It was for her grandson's little um, games, books, pens and crayons and anything that keeps him distracted yeah. in the car. So I thought that was a really lov lovely idea. She did add a little bit of elastic here just to hold on to yes. the chair. So it's lovely Great to idea. see that you know people use the patterns and then they adapt them for their own uses as well. There's even room for one or two little lollipops in the bottom <laughs> there as well, isn't there? Twenty three ninety seven is going to get you any three, of course. Any three of the pick and mix. It works out at seven pounds and ninety nine pence a pattern, incredible value. We've got lots more samples in the studio, which maybe we'll get to see some more as well. But let's have a look on the website as well, because of course the pick and mix are there for you. You can see all the different options there. We've got lots of wonderful goodies actually. Uh, do bear in mind as well if you're not just buying for yourself, you're looking for gifts as well. We've got lovely options for the gifts. Uh, those scissors or whether you want to go for the patterns themselves or those weights absolutely gorgeous aren't they now you can find everything that you need to look at but of course we want to see some demonstrations as well uh, so we are going to be with Kerry in a second now if you've got any questions do let us know email in studio at achanda.com perhaps Perhaps you've made some of Kerry's projects up, perhaps some of those from the pick and mix as well, so you can show us what fabrics you've been using. We'd love to see your pictures, we really, really would. Uh, well, I know Kerry would especially, because of course she's designed these patterns as well, so it's great to see what customers do with them. Do make sure that if you've got any questions, you let us know. We'll do our very, very best to answer them, of course. Amazing. So what are we going to see, Kerry, so first of all? we're going to just run through really how to put the satchel bag together. Okay. Um, I think on the earlier show, a couple of people had messaged in and asked to see how this goes together. So we thought we'll, we'll oh, show you. It. And also, really, just to show you how to use your pattern weights. Now, traditionally, these would be used on a much larger pattern, on your fabric pattern. And I would normally use pins on here, but just for the sake of showing you how beautiful they are. I mean, these are really beautiful. You've oh, got your scissors are, and your tame. I particularly love the little bird. I call my children my birds, so I really oh, love you? this. I really love <laughs> this set. <laughs> yeah, people that know me all know when I'm referring to the birds that it's my children. Oh. But uh, so I really love this. You know, it's like it's got all of the things that I love captured in a little box here. So. Oh, if, if my they are watching. absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Now, when it comes to the Sarah Satchel bag, we have now sold out of the Shakespeare option. So we're left with Coral, which is the one that Kerry's working with now. And also, we've got the blue one for you as well. Obviously, it's the same pattern, but these are kits, so you're going to get the fabrics and everything you need to make these. Aren't they smart, though? They're really, really lovely. Oh, and do you know, as we're just watching here, can, you can hear those scissors snipping away. They hear them. sound incredible. I'm rushing along. I'm, I'm, ex <laughs> I'm eager to get in there. And actually, what, what, I've, what I've not shown you, which is unusual for me, is I've actually got four layers of fabric here. Okay. So with your pattern, your pattern will talk you through exactly what to cut. Um, as you said, Catherine, it's got which direction. Of course, mine's quite a, you know, you can work that either way, so we haven't got to worry too much about it. But we've actually got four layers of fabric here. So I tend to find whenever I'm making a project, time's sometimes limited. So if you can speed through a project, yeah. it really helps, especially the preparing yeah. stage of the project. I quite like just getting it all cut and actually jumping straight in and sewing. So we are actually cutting through four layers and you can hear that cut. We you asked can. actually on the last show, I always wonder when I go to the hairdressers, do, you know, do they enjoy that? sound it make because I sit there thinking please let this look like my photo so I you know I love the sound of the scissors but not so much when I'm in the hairdressers and I just wonder you know so let's just listen to that Oh, really you know, lovely sound. If you go into a decent hairdresser, they're going to have quality scissors, like Carrie's got here for sewing, of course. Uh, let's hope you go to a hairdresser with decent scissors. Yes, <laughs> and you hear that lovely sound. If you don't, then it's time to worry. I've learned the hard way. I've got a, gr I've got a great hairdresser, and so has Carrie as well, because we both we both we had both the chop the same had, week, yes, didn't we? We did, we did. We both had the chop. So we've just cut those patterns out there, ready to start making our satchel bag. I've actually already popped the handle together 
so I've already sewn this together but what I would recommend if you are using one of my patterns just for easiness as I said just use a heat erasable pen and just make sure you transfer those letters yeah. from there onto here okay. so we've got all of these I thought in your kit I think it comes is it it's white on the lining but I really like this little lemon here as well so we're going to team those up so to make the pocket really nice and easy what we're going to do is just pop the pockets flat now because I'm using um, a plain fabric it doesn't really matter which way but if you okay. do decide if you're going to have the pattern and you're going to use some um, pattern fabric just make sure at this point that pattern is facing yeah. you and then when we pop the other side of the pattern on we want to make sure we're pattern facing down okay lovely okay is this a great project for someone that's just started sewing Yeah, as well? absolutely. So I've designed all of the patterns and actually that's why, I mean, I really, really enjoy um, putting the patterns together, taking yeah. the photographs. And, you know, I've been teaching now for six years and what I've, you know, the reason I decided to do this um, is I found a lot of people really struggle sometimes when the patterns are just written instruction and I, I do too, I, I'm, I'm a visual person so I like to see photos so that's exactly what I've popped in, if you have a little look you'll oh, be able we to see. We've got actually, this is, uh, this is a different pattern there's but you the, can see, the the, oh one. there's a satchel one as well but I'll show you this one as well so you can see all of the patterns are going to be the same, you've got those visuals there. The satchel one here which Kerry is making at the moment of course Let's just have a little look. Lots and lots of images in there for you. Very clear instructions indeed. Of course, you've got the labels on there as well when you get the cut pieces, all pre-cut. So great little starter kit, this one. Maybe you're looking for something that's quick and easy. Maybe you do make to sell as well. Then this is going to be ideal. But what a lovely little project to do. Really they're, a, they're a great gift idea. I've had a lot of feedback saying people like gifting these because they come with everything in there. So, you know, to the recipient, they haven't got to worry about yeah. going to get everything. It's all in there. So what you'll notice I'm doing now is I'm just lining up the raw edge of my fabric with the raw edge of my foot. And I'm sewing along that top raw edge. Lovely. And I'm just going to slide the next one under. So just to speed up this process to chain stitch along there. And we're repeating. So what I quite like to do in the patterns is repeat. Okay. Repeat what yeah. we're doing. So, you know, it's nice to have lots of pockets. So if we're going to put lots of pockets in, we want to make them as simple as possible. I presume then, Kerry, if you were making to sell and yeah. you're making lots of these things like this, little satchels, you could just chain these all the same all pieces, the pieces together. Yeah. So you're kind of batch making. Yeah. And it's quite nice um, because there really are not many pieces in here. You know, you've got your pockets, you've got your outer part, you've got your gusset, but you're simply repeating each step as we go. I'm doing that and I've got these lovely little scissors at the side of me, haven't <laughs> I? So, um, so we're doing that each stage as we work through there. So what we want to do next, if I just, if I can give you those weights, Catherine, to make can. a little bit of space. Oh, they are heavy, aren't they? They are heavy. Oh, just pop that in there. That's they the thing, beautiful. you know, when we're doing the shows, you actually can't feel the weight, no. the weight of those. No, we can describe it until you get things home. You're not going to appreciate how beautiful these products are. Those weights are absolutely so. I can't stop looking at the designs. I actually. know, I know. I, um, I, I love the sewing machines, and I know my mom's going to love the giraffes, you know. I mean, we had a conversation, actually, when we were deciding what we're bringing onto the show, and um, which ones, the hair, the rabbits or the giraffes. We decided to bring both, <laughs> but I really wanted the, the giraffes, just because I knew they're really popular. Yeah. Um, so, what we're doing now on the um, pocket is if you just have the wrong side of the fabric facing you at this point, and press your seam up, and then as you bring the, and it doesn't matter which way you do this, and now as you press that down, then you've got your first pocket Lovely. there. And we're going to do the same, again, repeating it. That's what makes the project so simple yeah. and so speedy to get through, because you're simply just repeating each stage as we go along. Wonderful. I love the size of the little satchel bag, but also there is room, of course, if you want to personalise, maybe put some this initial yeah. on there, maybe a flower or a butterfly, you could do that as well. Also, the shape of the flap there, 
that just encloses. It's lovely, isn't it? Rather than just being a basic shape, it just adds, it's stylish, isn't it? Mm. It's such a lovely size. It's very stylish. You have got the pockets inside and outside as well. Two of each, one front, one back, one on the inside, two on the inside, in fact. When we, we were, when, when I designed this for Sarah, who was attending um, an event, she really didn't want to have a pocket and I kept trying to talk her into having a pocket and just said, okay, well, we'll have a, we'll have a slightly different angled one just because it's quite nice to have a pocket on the front. So that's why we decided on that. So all I'm doing now, and I'm using a zigzag stitch just to speed through, I really like, you'll hear me say this quite frequently, working with decorative stitches. And just for you to be able to see, I'm using a nice contrasting cotton yeah. there as well. And we're, we're simply repeating what we've just done. This time we've just pressed those pockets. And you can see by using your beautiful threads and your stitches, you know, your, mas your machine might have these beautiful little, I think we've got um, rabbits and flowers and little bicycles on some machines. But most machines have a zigzag and I'm always drawn just to use a zigzag. That's a lovely zigzag, actually, because it's, it's really, lots of yeah. stitches, isn't it? It's really pretty. It also means you haven't got to worry about being absolutely perfect, yeah. which is why I like using this. Catherine, would you mind passing me a little pair of the I don't mind at all. Okay, we so we're just going to trim these fabrics. By chain stitching, all you're really doing, one, speeding up your project, but two, stopping any waste of your yeah, cotton. And you'll find, you know, that you're taking things off, popping them back on, that you, you know, you go through those fabrics quite yeah. quickly. Okay. So bright and fresh, that coral is, is very, very beautiful, isn't it? In fact, the blue one is as well. Both the options here on the counter. Remember, we've had a sellout of one of the options. The Shakespeare option is gone. This is what we're left with, but they are just gorgeous. Coral and blue there for you as well. You can see how well that zigzag stick works around the flap there on the, the bag as well. You do that, get the clasp in there because it's a kit. Yes, so you it, get comes, that as well. yeah, it comes with the clasp. Really nice, strong clasp. Details on the screen there. Now, we do have a freedom price on this one. £21 and 24 pence. that's delivered of course. The pattern you can reuse if you want to as well, so using your own fabrics afterwards, you can make as many as you like and sell them if you so wish. 393-717 is the item number. So all we're doing now is just pinning around the outer part of the bag, so let me just show you. I'm just bringing the fabric around and just pinning around the raw edge. Lovely. And what we're actually doing now, so I've placed, so if I just show you on the other one, and we're doing this on the outer fabric and on the lining fabric okay. as well. So we're simply repeating that step. So we're popping the pocket on top of the lining fabric with whichever side you prefer. This time I'm going for the pretty okay, coral fabric. Yeah. So we've got that showing just there. So just slide these extra pins in. You can, yeah. um, a lot of people won't go, you know, won't pin because they're quite confident. Um, but it's always worth just sliding those pins in, especially on your gusset. Because it just means you haven't got to go back. Yeah. and unpick if you miss if any of your fabric. If you are pinning there, Kerry, because that's a, when it's opened out, it's a, essentially it's a strip, yeah. would you find the centre point and maybe yes. put a pin yeah. in the centre point first and work Yes, out? and what I'll do is I'll show you that on the, on the second one. I was, okay. I was rushing through there and I thought I'll show you that. But absolutely, because if for any reason you've trimmed your fabric slightly smaller as well, you can always take that yeah. top little bit off. And by doing that, and always doing that on the gusset of your bag, it stops any twists and turns in yep, your pattern. I see. So we're just simply now returning our stitch back to a straight stitch. Always start whichever project it is. This machine's so good because it naturally does it. So we're always going to um, use a reverse stitch. As you're coming down to the bottom, just make sure, if it's a little bit tight, that you're pulling this across. any difficulty going around the curve there so a little snip in the fabric would that we help? can pop a snip in I tend to do it afterwards okay. because it stops it fraying yeah. as it moves so I tend to do that afterwards if you're sewing around a curve um, for the first time just drop your needle pick up your fabric and just move this yeah. it's, all, it's like a, an extra bit of fabric really so we're just moving that out of the way because what we don't want to do is sew that into position so I tend to snip the corners once I've actually sewn them Okay, and then it's going to sit better when you're yes. it. So again, when you get to the corner, just drop that needle, move this excess bit of fabric. You'll notice I don't really move my pins either, and that's because I leave them far enough back to okay, not come into yeah. contact with the needle. But if you're worried, just stop, remove your pins as you sew. We don't want to hit those pins with the no. sewing machine needle. 
well. Okay, so we just take that excess off. So as we said, Catherine, what we want to do is just snip into that corner now. We've got a little bit of overhang so we can just trim that out. But just to stop this coming together, you can now stitch into this corner. Lovely. Now, the pattern for the uh, the Sarah Satchel, is that available in the pick and mix as well? It is, yes. It is. So yeah. you can go for the kit. Uh, we are busy on the patterns, actually. So remember, you get it. It's a pick and mix. You're getting any three patterns. We've got some beautiful samples in the studio as well. So a lot to choose from here. You can go for uh, more than three if you want, as long as it's multiples of three. Of course, you can reuse these patterns as well as many times as you like. We've got all sorts of bags in here we've got accessory holders we've got uh, cushion in there for you we've got the wall hanger Do you know there's so many what I love about these is you can make the projects using your scraps using your fat quarters but also they are very very useful projects indeed great price at 23.97 it makes them just 7.99 a pattern I think that's right is it yes eight yes it near enough just give it take a penny or two there we are 12 pound is a saving here four two four three four eight is the item number of course so have a good look at those something else that's uh, proving popular are the weights i'm not surprised now you've got different choices here one item number lots of different choices uh, 14.99 these are really really lovely i think as if you've got someone that that crafts if they're uh, you know into the soft crafting this is going to be a wonderful wonderful gift because they just look gorgeous to look at and also they're very very useful as well so you've got the different designs there some have got well i think one of the sets has got six in there four centimeters or 40 millimeters in diameter and then the others have got four in but they're wider they're 60 millimeters You've got, I think, for me there, there's something that's going to suit absolutely everybody in design. You've got quirkiness, you've got animals in there, you've got all sorts. 565056 is the item number, so your choices are all available on the website, of course. Okay, so, to, so we were talking about folding your project um, in half. Okay. So what we need to do now is, if you just push your sashing or your gusset into the center, fold the pattern in half and press. I'm just going to now just pop a little pen mark on there just so I can remember and you can see it there on the screen. And the same, we're going to repeat that for our pocket. So again, I'm going to pop a little pen mark on there. We can't quite see that, so let me do that on the back so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So where we've got that fold line, I'm popping that pen mark on there. and to Lovely. pop the opposite side in what we're going to do is line up those two pen marks you can just score this if you want to or you can use your pins but just so you can see we're lining that center up and as Catherine said it is really important to stop any twists in your bag so now we're just following around the outside of the bag just pinning those into position wonderful wonderful now we've still got two choices left of course for the uh, for the satchel kit you've got the coral and you've got the blue as well we can still see the details there of course for the weights as well five six five zero five six uh, now we have got all sorts of wonderful goodies on the website for you absolutely wonderful now we're watching demonstrations from kerry of course we can see putting the satchel together here so this is the gusset that's going in there uh, okay. Lots of hints and tips and inspiration. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, do email in studio at chanda.com. And, of course, we will do our very, very best to ask questions, of course, to Kerry. There we are. Now, before we come back, I think, I think we might be saying hello to Alex as well. We hello, are. everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. 
Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Oh, thank you very much, Alex. Now, where are we up to carry so on now, with the satchel bag? So now we're going to work on the outside of the fabric and we're just going to pop the fabric onto the batting and just trim around that okay. as well. Lovely. So again, we'll be able to hear that lovely, that lovely sound that we like. Don't forget we've got the scissors available for you as well. We've got the gift set and we've also got the dressmaking scissors with the embroidery scissors as well in rose gold and also the rainbow effect. Do have a look at those. Great saving on these. There's the, the gift set for you. So you can see the rainbow ones on the screen there. Now in the gift set, oh, now then. There's the, uh, there's the rose gold ones for you. Now the gift set one comes with the thimble and also the pins as well. I think we're going to have another visual for you to see. The dressmaking ones, so you can see that ledge. There you are. There's the gift set with the thimble and the pins. Uh, slightly smaller than the dressmaking scissors there. You can see the size, 21 centimetres and 9 and a half centimetres, but a £10 saving on this gift box. Great gift for yourself or for somebody else. The dressmaking scissors are larger. You're also getting another pair of scissors with them, the smaller pair, but you don't get the thimble and you don't get the pins with the dressmaking scissors. But all the details are there, both available, whichever option you're going for, in the rose gold and the rainbow as well. Oh dear, the things that go on <laughs> when we don't, when you're not watching at home. Do you know, we should, I'm a bit naughty doing that, really. We try and hide things. We try and hide We're things. Not and then we just, we not. just tell you. It was really funny, actually, because <laughs> Kerry was making the bag and she realised she'd not got a batting to go. <laughs> She's so telling she all her secrets now. <laughs> she secretly wrote me a little note, which I understood. And I thought, how, how am I going to get this information to our lovely floor manager. So I'm secretly showing the note to the camera that you're not seeing at home <laughs> and everybody read it as batteries. So I can't write it must be so <laughs> bad. I bet my husband's sitting so here saying I'm always we telling you. We had the tech team come in. <laughs> We've got Molly rummaging around in drawers looking for batteries. Tech came in thinking that we've got problems with earpieces and And I microphones. found the batting. <laughs> And it was just the batting we needed from the counter. <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you were saying in that little bundle, I feel like I've been really naughty today now. <laughs> like, I've never had it where I've dropped something and I can't get to it. Now I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing now is we've now got the batting, not the batteries. We've now got the batting <laughs> and we've popped the outer fabric onto the batting with a pattern facing us. We're popping the panel on there and actually you can see it would look lovely either way whether you wanted yes, it contrasting yeah. but we're going to pop it on as the pattern intends us to do and we're repeating the same on this project now. So okay. exactly the same of what we've done before. Now in the steps what I do say is to just sew this and secure it on and I would absolutely yeah. recommend that you do that and again we're just going to press. Now because I've got a red pen I'm just going to use a pin and I'm just going to slide that through. So it's another way if you haven't got um, the pen at your side, if you've dropped it on the floor, <laughs> which is what batteries. seems to be happening <laughs> with your batteries, which seems to be what's happening to me today. And then we're folding the fabric in half now with a batting on. So I'm just going to slide a pin to stop that from moving. Okay. And we're sliding that in half now and finding the centre of our gusset. Lovely. Okay. And again, we're just going to slide a pin in just so when we bring it back we know exactly where we're pinning. 
Okay. It does make a lot of sense because obviously starting in the centre and working to the ends there, if yeah. you are a little bit out with the cutting of your fabric, Yeah, you, you say, can see mine is slightly out there, so we yeah. can trim that down as we go. And we're doing exactly the same. So this point is, it's really, really important now that you actually pin this in because you've got yeah. your batting in there. So it does make the world of difference when you're sewing with your batting. And actually, probably what I would recommend doing here is maybe not even pinning it. So let me show you how to do it without pinning, just because I find that without pinning at this point, you get a nicer curve okay. on your project. So we've secured it just at the bottom. We've got our straight stitch and we're sewing along. Now I can see where that fabric is underneath where it's coming to the yeah. curve, but if you're unsure again, use your pins to your advantage or your pens. I'm almost off the edge, about a quarter inch, and I'm going to lift up my fabric, remove the pins as I turn. I just find you get a nicer finish on here, yeah. especially when sewing through lots of pieces of fabric. Okay. And as we turn this now, it'll naturally fold around there. Okay, into and position. always with the needle in down position. Yeah, leave your needle in position. It just stops you trying to force it back under there, um, but also stops any gaps as well. Because sometimes what can happen is if you move it and you skip a stitch, you'll get a little hole at yeah. the bottom of your bag, which we really don't want. So we're sewing along to the end of our fabric now. I've got a little bit of cotton caught. And then when we come to the end, got a slight problem with the machine so let's just have a little look oh, it doesn't want to sew any further Maybe it needs new batteries can needs new batteries <laughs> <laughs> oh, i know how naughty getting you all running around it is eight o'clock we it, need it, to it do was quite funny though. <laughs> and then i got the bat in afterwards oh well that's oh. it we've had our exercise for the night now <laughs> I'm good at writing secret notes. You certainly so. are. Our producer and director didn't see a thing. Well, actually, until you actually pass me the note, I've not seen you really doing anything. <laughs> oh, dear. <gasps> Miss spent youth at high school, that just, is. I was just going to say, what were you like in exams, <laughs> Kerry? Were you giving all the answers away? Probably secret receiving the answers. I don't think <laughs> I, I ever gave around. any away. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what we wrote on those little letters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've just done the same. I've left the needle inserted into the fabric, pivot it around to me, okay. and then we're sewing along until we get to the edge of the fabric Lovely. here. It might look like it's struggling to get through there, um, but actually you'll find you get a nice curve on there as well. And just make sure, like with every project, that you reverse stitch yeah. at the end and just trim away your threads as we go. Okay. Okay. I'm quite envious of your scissors. They're, they're lovely, I aren't I they? I might need to go and treat myself. They are really <laughs> lovely. There's nothing better than having a good pair of scissors, especially with the projects that you do yeah. as well. So again, the same what we did before. You can mark this up before, but I tend to find just pressing those down, folding this in half, and pressing through your fabric you'll easily be able to see you might not be on the camera but you'll be able to see where that line is so we're just pressing through and I can just see that which is why I'm going to draw this and I'll pop a pin in for you to okay. see there as well wonderful okay same on your fabric and just for speed I'm not going to put this extra pocket in into this one we'll just speed around this little one now I'm popping this through on the back because of course I'm going to be work with the batting lovely now don't forget the pattern, if you want it not with the kit, if you just want the pattern, you can get it as part of the pick and mix. You've got a choice of any three for the pick and mix, of course. A great price because you've got full uh, full tutorial there within the, the pattern pieces and the instructions there. You can see full size pattern pieces as well, which is totally reusable. Lots of images to help you along your way, hints and tips. And of course you can choose your own fabrics if you're going for the, the patterns themselves. Works out at $7.99 a pack or thereabouts, 424348 been busy on those this hour. There are lots of lovely, lovely projects to choose from actually. I think you're going to find it hard just going for three, so of course you can go for multiples. If you want to go for six, it's got to be multiples of three obviously, but uh, you know, just go for as many as you like really here, as long as they work out in those multiples. Now something else that's been busy are the weights as well. Uh, lovely gifts, but of course they're perfect for your own needs as well. The packaging is gorgeous, the designs are gorgeous, there's going to be something to appeal to everybody I'm sure here and very, very useful indeed. $14.99 for these, item number 565056, lovely. 
I'm interested, which are your favourite weights? I, I'm struggling to choose a favourite, actually. I, I do like the set that you picked. They're um, really lovely, aren't I they? I don't love the sewing machines. I think they're the yeah. favourite from everybody at home, actually. But I'd be happy with any of them. I yeah. really would. They really would. They're, they're almost like a little set that you want to collect, yeah, aren't they? they I are feel actually. like that. I feel like they're a set that, to collect. Well, at home, that's the favourite so far, the vintage sewing machines. They are beautiful. I've got a sewing machine like that as well, so maybe I would go for the vintage yeah, sewing machines I, if I, I really love... have to pick. Do you ever use it? Yes. Yeah. Is it electric or...? Oh, yeah, what a great it's, idea. No, it's, um, there's a little bit of a story, actually. One of our lovely guests... Um, Craft individuals, Jean, craft individuals, uh, manufacturers, stamps, designs, manufacturers, yeah. was on, and I was guesting, I was presenting a show for her, and she'd got a beautiful sewing machine. sewing machine, and I said, oh, that is lovely, she said, I'm going to just sew through cards, we do that as card makers, yeah, yeah. we often stitch through our card and papers, and it was one with the handle that you just yeah, turned, but, hand but it was in so such lovely. good condition, and I said, I really want one of those. Yeah. And she said, you can pick them up for next to nothing. So I thought, right, here we go. So once I've come off there, there I was on the internet. And on the way home, I just went a little bit out of my way and ended up buying did you? one. Yes, I did. Oh, you're so lucky that you yeah. stumbled across one. I paid for mine £40. Yeah, yeah, that's about, that's they want, about right. They wanted 60 but I managed to knock them down because there was a little plate missing from it, which I could, I can hopefully get a Is that the plate before. that we talked yes, about last is. time? Yeah. Uh, but the machine itself was in great so condition. So beautiful. I, I was really lucky a few years ago. I was asked to do an event um, and to specifically take old sewing machines. And I put a post out on my um, social media pages just asking where to buy them. And at the time, I had a craft centre. And the next day when I went to work, there was three oh, really? on my doorstep. Oh, wow. Three. And they're so beautiful. They look they great are. on display. I really Did was. And, and I never found out who delivered them. But you? No, but oh, they were just... Watching, they were all different as well. If you watch, her is very, very grateful. I do have mine on the show in, in yeah, the cottage. Lovely. I keep it out on the display, but I have used it as well. Um, because it's got the old shuttle yeah, so I look, mechanism in it. They're really lovely. To, they're, me, they're mesmerising, actually, they are, to watch. Yeah, they are. Much more complicated than what we ha than what we use now, I have to uh, agree. It takes a while to get used to using those. So what all I've done now is I'm just sewing the handle. Of course, I'm using a zigzag stitch just to fire away along here. Um, again, the steps are in the instruction booklet to show you how to make your handle. And I'm just simply sewing along this. To, normally I sew around both sides, but for speed, and I'd like to show you how to insert your magnetic clasp. Oh, yes, um, that'd be good. So there's a little bit overhanging there. I'm just going to trim that off out of the way. Jack, can it easily just the length of the handle as well? I think the little girls would love this, okay. wouldn't they? Can yeah. you imagine? Across the shoulder, you I've know. I've made so many of these. I've got a little stockpile of making these when oh. I've been testing it, so... If you're watching these, you all have so happy sweet. birthdays this year. Okay. There we are. They're cute, aren't they? They really are. Those are two options. We've got left the blue and the coral. This is if you're going for the kit. If you just want the pattern, the pick and mix is what you want because, of course, you can choose any three of the patterns. Now, the most important thing really is, if I don't get to show you how to finish your project, it's really how you insert your magnetic clasp. So this will come in your kit and there's a really simple technique so even a step to show you exactly where to pop this in so using your ruler it'll give you the measurements it's a quarter inch up from your pocket okay and an inch and a half in so right. all we're doing there is just making a little dot Lovely. once we've got that dot what we do is we pop this just on top and we're sewing and we draw through oh, those two lines yeah. there okay okay and I don't think, because we've got the scissors, let's use the scissors. Normally I'd show you a little technique here, which I showed the last time I demonstrated this bag, how to um, pop your pin into place. Okay. But because we've got these really sharp scissors, what we're going to do, make sure your finger's not quite behind, is just pinch right. through that little so line little there. Tiny so just a tiny little snip. As you push that through to your batting, we're just going to cut through your batting. Okay, okay the okay. same here. And what we now have is... On the bag, we pop these two little prongs through, and they'll pop through on the other side. If they've not quite come through, which I don't think mine have, just again use your scissors just to cut through that batting. 
so you can see those prongs. Yeah. Pop this on the back, just move that little bit of cotton. Because you've got the batting in there, of course, it's securing everything, it's making everything yes. firmer, it's going to hold nicely, so it's not just going to rip away. No, and absolutely, and that's actually really important for when we're yeah. doing the flap now. Okay. Now, my flap on my bag, you can see it all sits in a particular way. You, of course, could put your flap either, either side okay. on there. Lovely. So what we want to do now is using just the lining of the flap, so decide which way, and we go, I'm going to stick to what I'm what's in my pattern. So deciding now which way this is going to go. Now this one is exactly the same. You've got your measurements. This is, let me find the right end of the ruler, from the, the part that pops out, if you like. Right, yeah. We're sitting the ruler on, and we're sitting it so it's an inch and a quarter okay. down and an inch and a quarter from the side. Right. And again, we're going to draw that dot. Okay, and we're going lovely. to repeat that step. But this time, as you said, you want to make sure that you've got the stability and it's not tearing through your fabric because sometimes you're in a bit of a rush. So just to give it that little bit of stability, we're just going to cut a little bit of batting. You can glue it into position if you want to, but I'm not going to. Okay. And all I'm going to do as well is just pop that little dot on to there. Wonderful. Okay. So just by holding the pen, I'm sitting that on top of the dot, yeah. as you can see. And then I'm sitting this on top. So the little dot that you've made sits in the centre. Okay. And then you're drawing your lines Lovely. exactly the way we did. And then you're simply going to repeat that step. So first of all, we're going to cut through our batting. And then just pinch that through your fabric just there. So we're just repeating that step. If you prefer to do it from the other side, just draw through that fabric there. Okay. And you can see we've already made those little marks. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. I just want to show you so you can... It's nice and simple then. Nice and easy to pop this in. So pop the other side through, push it through your holes. If it's not quite through, of course, you can just trim again. Yep. It is a little bit easier and normally I would use a stitch on pick, but it's a shame not to use these beautiful scissors. So well, we're sitting the these job, on top. So they really not? do the job. They're lovely and sharp. And we're popping this out. So to complete the flap now, what we want to do is pop the pattern on top pattern facing. Okay. Pop your batting on, and then just so you can see without, um, if you're, you know, if you're concerned really about sewing around when there's a metal piece into your fabric, just make sure this is facing you, so you can see exactly where you're sewing. Okay. What you'll notice is when we sew around here, because of where we've positioned your magnetic clasp, your um, stitch isn't going to come into contact contact with it. Okay. So we're returning this back to our straight stitch and we're now just sewing around the out edge. You'll take a lot more time with this than perhaps what I'm doing. And again, if you're more confident, you'll know how to spin that around. Yeah. But if you're unsure, what I would say is each time you feel that the side of your foot is dropping off the raw edge, just lift and pivot and do this okay. stage by stage. Yeah, Again, just take it steady. nice and slow because you really want, you know, this is part of the design. So again, you can see it's not quite in line. Okay. So we're dropping the needle and we're pivoting all the way around. And the more frequently you sew, the more confident you'll, you know, you'll yeah. get to do this stage here. And remember to reverse stitch at the end of this project. Okay, so that secures everything. That's it. We've Lovely. lost our bobbin. So I think oh. Actually, if you're changing that, I've just spotted these in front of me as well, Kerry. These were these what you did on these the These are what show? I did on the four o'clock show. These are in the pick and mix. These are so, so useful. You could put makeup in there, you could put knickknacks in there, you put all sorts of bits and pieces and then your bobbins and your threads. So if you pull on there's two um, two pull ribbons in there, so just pull one ribbon one at a ribbon. time. Okay. Outwards. Make oh. sure it's just, there's two separate ribbons. I'm probably great. That's, That's it. it. There we are. So if it doesn't work the first time, just swap one of the ribbons, basically, and then you'll see it pulls up nice and tight as well. Of course, if you've got something a bit more bulky in there, you may not have to pull it up quite as tightly. You just want to make sure the holes close off so nothing falls out of there. Lovely projects. Very, very useful indeed. Uh, if you want to see the demonstrations for this, it was 4 o'clock, I believe, was it? It was 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock yeah. show. You can see those, but they are available on the Pick and Mix. Also, I presume these are as well, are yes, they, Kerry? Yes, yes. So, so that's in lovely. the Sewn With Scraps issue four, and um, that's the So Delicious 
um, pattern. So they're all things like a mug rug, um, you've got the bowl cosy which are super popular at the moment um, and you've also got a, a mug cosy as well. So we've oh, themed each of the projects. They're really cute, aren't they? Yeah. They're really useful, great on these cold mornings with your soup. So Leone, I think Leone's the, the person who takes the longest time to make soup. <laughs> Every time I've been to the kitchen today, she's still been making the same bowl of soup. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sure she won't mind me saying. I've stir about Leone as well. Everything was all right, but I thought, oh, I was, near, I was horrified. She'd been planning her shows and she spent ages putting emails and plans show plans together literally hours i think she'd been sat there at the computer and then i thought she'd left the computer because it had gone blank on the screen she disappeared so i logged out and logged into my oh naughty mine and then she came and she'd gone to make a soup again because she'd already warmed it up and then went to warm it up again or something happened with the soup anyway she and she went oh, where's my show plans gone i've spent hours doing that i'm thinking Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Anyway, luckily, <laughs> luckily, when Leonie logged back in, they were still, they were still on there. Oh, gosh. I would have been mortified. <laughs> I did say, you like... <sighs> Every time I went to the kitchen for a little cup of tea, I was like, you still <laughs> make... You know they're saying to me I'm like living Groundhog Day today. Do you know they're saying to me in the gallery, Kerry? <laughs> you know You're horrible. You're horrible to Leonie. <laughs> telling, I didn't do it We're telling purpose. everybody's secrets today. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing now, you would normally top stitch on here. We love it, especially at this time of <laughs> night, we love it. So with your magnetic clasp pattern facing down, oh, I love binding, I find ways to use binding all the time. We're popping this on top okay. and folding the excess on the inside. You'll see why in a little moment. I just want to show you how to make the flap. And then the same on here. Um, in the pattern, actually, and if, if you can see, um, Catherine, you'll notice that I've quilted the bags from the pattern. So the options yes. are there for okay. you to quilt or not to quilt. It's entirely up to yourself. I really like adding quilting to projects, no matter how simple. Um, I haven't on the show today because that does take a lot of time. I do like that, actually. I've got to say, I think it, it looks, looks very, really very lovely. Effective. Really lovely. So now we've got the binding on here. And what we're doing is just bringing the binding up, so pressing it or pulling it up if you like and then okay. we're pressing this a bit like if you were doing it on your quilt I really like it's quite nice on the I know we don't have the Shakespeare one but you're on the back of there we've got a nice contrasting yeah. and then we're folding the binding over the back okay and this really is because we wanted to really make a feature yeah. of this project here so you'll notice I've not got a, um, a a pocket on the back but this is the back of the fabric that we work and we know it's the front because it's got your magnetic clasp okay. so we're going on to the back of the bag and we're measuring an inch and a half down so let me just show you so it's an inch and a half down from your raw edge here and we're drawing a line remember I'm using a heat erasable pen yeah. I'm hoping you can see that because I've chosen a red pen to work yeah, with we can today see it. we can see it very well actually yeah. Yeah. and then we're sitting this on top of the bag just here and just sliding some pins through so this is a nice little decorative way to pop your Catherine you're laughing what are you up to it, there? The, the teasing me in the gallery <laughs> oh. you're naughty today I like it <laughs> <laughs> it's not me being naughty it's the gallery <laughs> But they're not oh, here to blame, so I'm blaming you today. Blaming me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting a reputation. There you tonight. go. A reputation for being fun. It could be worse, <laughs> couldn't it? So what I've actually done there is I've pinned through the layers, so I've gone through the batting. And we're just taking the side of the machine off. This is really okay. nice if you really just want to make a feature of this little flap that we've got on there. I've missed okay. lots of stages out. I've not top stitched, so I can feel it's... You're going to ask. Yeah, no, I was going to say, because I know you haven't got the pocket on the back there, but of course in the kit, in the you kit will it's on there. Yeah. It's the all in there, so you've got four yeah. pockets in your kit. Front, back, and two on the inside yeah. as well, of course. So you are going to get everything, including the batting. Everything's in there. So all I'm doing now, I've set that up again, and this is really important to attach your, um, your flap. So I'm lining this up now, so I'm using the sewing machine foot as my guide to run along that seam where okay, I've put the yeah. binding in. And because I'm using a contrasting thread, you'll be able to see that in a moment. Just make sure there's no fabrics. And we're just zigzag stitching along, decorative purposes, but it also means by using the zigzag on this particular step, that actually you're catching the back of that binding. Yeah. 
so it's not going to flap about or you're not going to, it's not going to be exposed more yeah. importantly and again it's adding extra strength isn't it yes, where you've absolutely. got that sort of pivot point for the, yeah. the opening there as well so let's just take we that have got left time wise we've got about two minutes left okay so, we're, we're doing so let's right, just do we? that second um stitch line there i just okay. really wanted to show you how to attach because it's slightly different, normally you'd pop yeah. those on the inside. I really wanted to show anybody who's bought this kit really how to attach this flap. Okay. And again, now we're sewing this bit, otherwise this bit would flap yeah. up. And exactly the same. So reverse stitch to finish, to start, and we're sewing along. Okay. Now, I'm really naughty, I tend not to remove my pins, but remove your pins if it makes you feel uncomfortable leaving them in there. And especially if you've got a lot of batting, because they won't move like they normally would. Yeah. Okay, so we'll bring this off the machine and what you've actually got, dropped another pair of uh, scissors there. So, oh <gasps> sorry about that quilted there. <laughs> oh dear. It's Don't great. forget, you can find all the scissors on the website, of course, as well. And the bottom of the screen for the dressmaking scissors, the uh, the large ones with the little ledge at the handle. Which is the ones so I'm using, great. which are really cute because they, they just are. naturally run along your side, which I think Amazing. is really useful. So Rose all, gold or rainbow as well. So although we've not quite got to finish this project, actually all that's left to do, so you've got your flap on there, I'm not going to worry about moving the cotton, so your flap sits in place. Okay. Lovely. We've got that lovely design on the back with the flap of your bag. And actually to complete this, what we'd do now is fold the flap out of the way and drop this. So you're going to have right side, wrong side, and you drop okay. them inside of each other. Right. So when you've dropped it inside you've got the right sides That's together. That's it, so the you? right sides are sitting together. Oh we've got half a minute left Kerry. Half a minute, so my last tip for you and it's the most important one at this stage is just when you're pinning these together at your seams push one seam to the left, one seam to the right and slide a pin through all layers. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Then, of course, stitch around. Do you know, we're in the last few seconds. Kerry, when are you back again? Do you I'm know? back on the 6th of March. Oh, not too long to wait at all. Look forward to that. Uh, lots of fun being had here tonight. Stay with us, though. More to come. <laughs> Oh, what is Jimmy doing there? Now, coming up next, we've got Angela Poole One Day Special, and then we've got Lavinia Stamps coming up, and then Angela's back. Amazing One Day Special. Don't go anywhere. I'm Cathy and I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. 
We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Hello everyone. I've not shrunk. Richard's just very tall. Uh, now I'm looking forward to this hour, Richard. Good, good. So, no. <laughs> I wish I could have a day. Hang on, hang on. You can keep going down, but hang I can't on. go here up. Go. No, <laughs> now then, I'm surprised to see you here. Oh, thank you. So, it could, but this is going to be so much fun. Now, obviously, we know each other. We've seen each yep, other around the studio. Times, yeah. You do come with uh, Angela, of course, uh, but we've never seen you present uh, guesting before. So, what's <coughs> going on? I guested a long, long time ago when we first started. Did and, you? Yeah, and it, um, it went. Um, not bad, you know, so uh, and just said, oh, the nine o'clock show, do you fancy doing the nine o'clock show? And I was like, well, I'll give it a crack. So, uh, oh, we're going to have some fun, aren't we? Serious. We really are. <laughs> now, the one day special, this is what it's all about, and what a busy launch, Richard, mm, as well. It's been really In good. fact, almost 60% of the 24 hour stock has already gone. Now this is just incredible. We'll look what we've got here. Angela Poole slot and spin vintage frames, the complete collection. You're getting dies, you're getting stamps, you're getting stencils here and you're getting a card pack as well. Absolutely beautiful. I love vintage Richard so this is really up my street. Good. Uh, I was watching the earlier shows as well. Very, very busy. Love the demonstrations. You've got some shoes to step into. You do know that, don't you? That's uh, physically impossible. So, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I like that. Now, let's have a look at the die set first of all, then, Richard, because tell us what the die set does, because we've got wonderful dies here. Yeah, of course. Um, the dies are it comprises of 14 different pieces, um, which allow you to physically cut out um, different size apertures. Um, okay. which then slot together and allow you to create you know different spinning circles very vintage look there's quite a lacy look to it as well if okay. you see around some of the edges there's yeah. a very nice lacy look as well which ties in well with the stencils as well the stencils there's a doily stencil vintage doily um, which goes okay. in really well and then these are the actual pieces you can cut out and without any yeah. without any additional um, adhesives or anything else, they lock into each other. So the actual pieces lock into each other, and obviously I can show you that in a moment. Okay. Um, We've got some gorgeous samples, by the way. And we've got absolutely tons of samples to show you as well. Everything will become very, very clear if you're not understanding the concept at the moment. But it goes on, doesn't it, Richard? Because mm -hmm. we've got the dies, and then we've also got the stamps that correspond as well. Mm -hmm. Love this, how you can stamp directly into the circles yep. there. Lots and lots of pieces here. So you've got the dies, you've got the stamps, you've also got stencils as well. Let me just show you this one. Again, this is the stamps. How beautiful. We've got everything you need here. We've got frames, we've got corners, flourishes, keys, locks, uh, wording in there as well. Really, really beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, of course, we have the stencils. That we're in, go we're with new it. to stencils, so um, we're glad that the uh, the Hochanda, wow. Hochanda peop, uh, people are in, enjoying our stencils. So again, we've got the we've got the vintage uh, doily, yep. and then we've got the vintage flourishes, which is sort of like keys, and there's a nice border there as well. They're so, yeah. absolutely <coughs> beautiful. And you get the card as well. Now, we're just looking at a sample there where one of the stencils have been used, or some of the stencils have been used. You can see the key, you can see the flourishes there. They are absolutely beautiful. But the card stock as well, oh, we've had a, a glimpse of this already with the samples, but look at this. I'm actually going to hold this upside down just because it makes it easier to flip. But there's no patterns on, but you've got that beautiful sort of ombre effect running through here. The colours are just stunning. So, tell us about these then, Richard. Great weight of uh, cardstock. 300 GSM on a paper called Elements Fire. It's a one we've used again and again because it's really good quality card. It cuts really well. It folds really well. It scores nicely. Um, and as you can feel, if you stop at just one of the sheets, it's just really yeah. good quality heavy cardstock. We had to go with a slightly heavier one, to, uh, so this card pack can work with the dice. The the dies do need a little bit of strength. The, 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 the finished cut pieces yeah. do need a little bit of strength, obviously, because they are holding each other together. But there's some beautiful ombre colours in there. They're not all just one colour to one colour. There's some where the colours are coming in from the sides. There's some where the colours, there's three different colours on the page. So there's a good mix of, uh, there's a good mix of uh, sort of ombre finishes they there. They are absolutely beautiful. <coughs> You're getting 24 double-sided sheets, A4 sheets there. There's eight different designs in total. You can see the colours there. Those mixes are absolutely stunning. And they work, of course, so beautifully. 
beautifully with the dies, the stamps and the stencils. They're made to go together. But do you know what? With that cardstock there as well, of course, it's going to lend itself to many other projects as well. So are the stencils, the dies and, of course, the stamps. But together, this is incredible. Now, let's have a look at one of the samples here, mm -hmm. Richard, just to see the movement in them. Now, I was watching earlier and I was, I was really amazed to see that there is a lot of movement in them. You First off, thought, oh, are they are just going to kind of flip to the side a little bit? But look at this, absolutely stunning. You've actually got it spinning around almost there, haven't you? And the detail in the dies, that lace effect, that vintage lace effect is just gorgeous. And when we've got them sat at home, when Andrew's been making and practicing and so on and so forth, you get a small gust of wind or someone walks past it and all the frames just very gently just start spinning on their own. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, wow. Look at this one as well. You don't have to have everything spinning the same way. Look at this. So you've got the circle going in one direction, then across the, sec uh, the centre there. So you've, you've got... It's just so dimensional, isn't it? Mm. It's beautiful. I'm going to turn that to the side so you can see how that's working. Very, very easy to do. Now, a little chat before the show, Richard. You were saying to me you love this because it, it makes you think of space, and we can it see does. that. We yeah. can see it's like an orbital it sort does. of theme. But if you want to say very, very pretty, you can. You can make uh, you can make lots of different things. You know, if you want to make them into planets, you certainly can do. Look at this sample that we're seeing here turned into a flower. Incredible. You must catch the six o'clock show on Rewind as well to see the demonstrations from Angela. It was a double launch. Now, the items are all available individually as well, but your saving, of course, is in the one day special. You're saving eight pounds here. We are approaching two thirds of the stock already gone. That's two thirds of the 24 hour stock Good. already gone. Yeah, mm. it is very, very good. Very busy. Two payments of £36.98. Item number 151198 if you're going for the full collection there. And why wouldn't you? Because it works so beautifully, doesn't it? Now, we've seen lots of inspiration, but we've got more to show you. We need to see what the, uh, cr the design, you know, or is it all Angela's work? <coughs> no. Um Angela obviously does a lot of the work, but we've got a really good design team. Okay, um, we've got Zoe, um, she does a lot of mixed media. Uh, we've got Sandra, who's very traditional, and we've got Trisha, who makes um, some really beautiful colour mixes and that sort of stuff. They've all got their little area of expertise, Aww. which is great. We've got a new lady as well, um, and another Angela, so not our, not my Angela, but another Angela, and she's come on just recently and she's created some, some lovely things as well. So, yes. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's have a look <coughs> at the work from the design team, both Angela's and everybody else involved. They're just beautiful. They really, really are. But of course, we want to see some demonstrations. <laughs> We're going to hand it over to Richard in a second. But also, if you've got any questions, do let us know. Email in studio at chanda.com. Even if it's just to give support to Richard, of course, because he's a little bit nervous, but I'm sure he's going to be fine. Uh, what are we going to see, Richard? Well, um, I'm a big fan. Um, of these colours, uh, with this sort of blue and white colour scheme, just pop them down there. Um, it reminds me of like an old style um, plate, you know, like yes, the old style. Yeah. I think the, I always say, want to say woad type pottery. Um, I don't know if the woad's the right word. I probably should have researched it first. Um, you know, the you get the the white the, the wedgewood. The, wedgewood. The wedgewood. The word wedgewood. I'll for? take that. I'll take that, thank you. So yeah, <laughs> I yeah. agree with you. It does yeah. look like that. It, it's very. Yeah. You know, I just like that. It's, you know, yeah, I've it's always gorgeous. liked it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try and recreate this beautiful card, which has got the full set of spinning uh, apertures in the middle. 
so yeah so wish me luck so, yeah. but thankfully i'm going to be doing a bit of a, a bit of um mixed media which i'm quite excited Ooh. about so yes yeah, so, <coughs> right Wonderful. so i'm just going to get stuck in so. let's let's go let's <laughs> right. go i'm just going to remind everybody that if you want more of the card stock you can get that also for 11.99 remember you're getting eight different designs there you're getting 24 double-sided sheets we are approaching two-thirds of the stock gone on the card stock there but details on the screen three seven eight two nine zero so, just using a bit of the uh, wow embossing pad there. Okay. I'm just going to put a little greeting which comes in the stamp set. And do remember, all of our stamps are photopolymer. Yes. So, not only are they really good for stamping, they cling really well. Yeah. Made in the UK, but they also print on fabric as well. So if you see something here you like the look of, that's not bad, is it? That's, that's a good start. That's a good start. It makes that's me feel not positive. Bad at all. So, yeah. So they print on fabric as well. So it's uh, which is really nice. Right. Going to get a little bit of the Wow embossing powder, the bright white. Okay, lovely. So the people that Wow have been very good to us, and I'm trying. I'm trying to look professional here. <laughs> at home, I would literally just dosh it on, and then uh, and then obviously collect the uh, collect the excess later. Okay. So yes, which I'm going to do. I can't if you need it. anything tipping into pots, I'm quite happy to help. Look Are at you? that. Are well you? done, well. Richard. Look at that. Perfect. And thank you for tuning in. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to take that away? If, from yeah, me? if you don't mind, that'd be lovely. Okay. Thank you. I was, quite, I was really happy when they see I was on with you because obviously I know you're a crafter as well. Um, <laughs> actually, not as well. You are a crafter, whereas I'm a, I'm a, a novice, should we say. So I was but quite, this is good, Richard. We like pleased. it. We like to see this because we've got new crafters tuning in all the time. <coughs> Maybe you've just got your first die cutting machine. Maybe you've not stamped yet. We've got everything available on the one day special and individually as well, of course. But all eyes on Richard. Don't want to make you any more no, nervous. Crack but on, let's watch this. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a heat embossing. Okay. So. Safety first as well. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, well, normally I forget to hold the thing I'm heat embossing, and then I turn the um, the embossing gun on it. She was across the table. <laughs> so I do love heat embossing. It's just such a it's such an effective method of just making something. Look at that. Well done. I love the font as well. Isn't that gorgeous? It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I'm going to pop him to one side while he calls down uh, okay. health and safety. So, uh -huh. And then I'm going to now do a little bit of texture paste. So, wow. I'm very you know, excited I, I bet about. you're going to throw everything at this, aren't you? I'm gonna, All the techniques I'm gonna, I'm gonna, demonstration. Yeah, the technique I'm going to go for, sorry, excuse me a second, it's a little bit warm here. Uh, the technique I'm going to go for is called the slap it on technique, um, which I think is the technical term. So I'm using the, um, the vintage lace doily. I'm just going to use the main part. And I'm only going for, so I don't waste the texture paste, I'm only going for the outer part of the doily. Okay, so, that is a beautiful stencil as well. Individually nine ninety nine, but of course part of the one day special as well. You can see the individual details there. Brand new, of course. Uh, almost a quarter of the stock gone individually as well. Love the big design, but you've got other elements on there as well. In That's a nice spotty washi tape. In practice, that stuck that to that, um, but it just didn't do it just now. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully they were tuning on you and uh, and not too much on the. Uh, you could have got away with that, Richard. You know, I know, I know, but if it. someone would have spotted it and they were like, oh, look what he's done. I don't know why they speak like an old West Country farmer, but um, <laughs> if they'd have been like, what's that? What's he doing? No, oh, look what he's done. Yeah, he's muffed that up probably, hadn't he? So, uh, so there we go. Is Angela watching from the green room? She is, yeah, she is. She'll probably be in here in a minute. It's doing well, Angela. It's so, doing well. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Now, this stuff is a little bit messy because sometimes you get a little bit of crumb around the edge. Okay. So I'm just going to make a mess all over the floor. <laughs> sorry, studio team. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm going to go for the, the larger spatula just because okay. I can. So now when I've done this at home, I have had different, different results. So I'm just going to get the texture paste. I'm just going to put my finger in the middle okay. and I'm just going to spread outwards. This is actually, yeah. this is quite satisfying. So are you now uh, slightly addicted to crafting then, Richard, in the sense that... Do you uh, know what? If I, if I was allowed, and I'm not by, I mean, I don't mean by Angela, but I mean maybe by Hochanda, maybe next time I'm on, I could bring some of the homemade Valentine's Day cards I've made for Angela in the Aww. past. Um, in my mind, you know, they were works of art. Um, oh, I'm sure in reality <clears throat> they were as well. I think it's the thought that counts, you know. So uh, So when you see, when you see the amazing effects I'm going to have using this stencil, and this paste. Now this paste will actually dry and leave a nice crackled sort of very sort of vintage aged look. Oh wonderful. I'm trying to, you, to conserve as much of the paste as possible because okay. obviously 
crafters and myself don't like waste. We certainly don't. Mm. You're doing very, very well. Thank you. I'm probably wasting a little bit more than I should, but I know obviously I am limited on time. Uh, now, don't forget, don't forget everybody, this is the launch day. The six o'clock show was the launch show itself. In fact, it was a double launch. So much stock went very, very quickly as well. We're appro mm -hmm. approaching mm -hmm. two thirds of the stock gone. Now, remember to check those baskets out, of course. We do make sales during the night. We have repeat shows during the night as well. So people are buying in between shows. Early in the morning, that's a popular time as well, at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, whenever it is. Absolutely astonishing the people that are buying throughout the night of course because we've got people in america as well uh want to say hello to you we've got people in, in europe as well of course our uk customers watching as well so it's great to have everybody on board uh, and of course different times in different parts of the world so for some it might be daytime let us know let us know where you are if you're watching and it's not here in the uk it's quarter past nine where are you and what time is it we'd love to know here we go, ready? Oh, the reveal. Look at oh. that, Richard. You should be Banging. so proud. Oh. Look at Look that. Look at that. I am genuinely, genuinely quite chuffed with that. So, if we can just uh, show that there, bring it back a little bit. And if I just twist it a little Love bit it. in the light. Now, I am going to let that dry. Okay. Um, you can speed it up a little bit. Obviously, I, I'm preaching to the choir, obviously, because you know, people that have used the texture paste before will know. You can speed it up a little yeah. bit with the heat gun, but. You do, I think you get a better finished crackle if you let it if dry let a little bit on the same. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit more, um, a little bit more um, uh, uh, crackle paste in a second, just on the okay. reverse of our little blue circle we did just now. So okay. I'm going to double Lovely. side that. So. Do you need a break in between that and now, or are you all right to carry on? Um, I'll do that a little bit. Okay. And then if I can Lovely. have a little, uh, little gap, that'd be great. That's fine. I'm just going yes, to over to the that. other stencil. Okay. Which is our flourishy stencil, and I'm this just going to so use. Beautiful. Well, do you know what? Um, th I think this is fantastic. You know, I, I love this. I love this strip down the side. It's, it's, it is. Angela's used it on some uh, some gift boxes and some other bit. Oh, there's one yeah. here, right in front of my face. Yes. So yes. Beautiful as well. So you can actually see. You know, if I hold that up there, you can actually uh, see where it has been uh, stenciled. You so. can. Do you know? Everyone who's had a part in making the samples got such an eye for colour as well. They are beautiful. Don't forget with your stencils as well, if you, especially with the A4, if you've got the larger machines, you can put those through and emboss with them as well if mm -hmm. you wanted to do so. You could cut that panel out and use it you know, on, a, on the front of an album or something like that as well. Absolutely. I just realised rather foolishly I've chucked my tool down <laughs> here when I need, still need it, so uh, bear with me. I'll get told off for disappearing out of camera. So... Uh, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a little bit of paste. You no, know, I don't one. think anybody noticed you disappear. Then did did you see the earlier hour with Kerry? She was writing secret notes, and nobody spotted that. I did not see that. No, that would no, have been quite interesting. Very, very good at Who was she writing notes? them to? Me. Oh right, okay, fair enough. So <laughs> it's a long story. Now if I lift him it off, it was quite funny actually. Should have a nice little pattern. Look at that. On there, see, look, see. Beautiful. I'll pop that there, just pop in the that middle. There. We right can on the see cross, it there, right on the... Do you know you have learned a lot today? I know. So. I'm, with, I'm with you with the colours of this, Richard. I think it's, the blue with the white it? is absolutely it's just, stunning. It's a classic. It's a it classic is. look. So I quite yeah. like I quite like anti you know, antiques and that sort of stuff. So I've got two young children names, so we haven't really got anything, but you know, <laughs> you know, in later years. So good charity shot rummage. Right, so I'm just gonna push him to one side. Okay, lovely. I've just stuck my finger in the texture paste, that's uh, something not to do. But there we go. It still looks nice. So it that's certainly what it does. And you've got some that you made earlier, which is always a bonus, of course. Now let's just remind you of a couple of things as well now let's have a look at the one day special itself because we've seen various elements used there so of course the cardstock that Richard has used you've got those you've got the dies that have been used you've got the stamps that have been used you've got the stencils as well so everything that's in the one day special Richard has actually already used in part of that demonstration it is fabulous quality it is absolutely amazing um, in quantity and also of course the value is incredible as well saving eight pounds always look at that yellow box that's where you see the savings eight pounds 
saving and you've got flexi buy as well so two payments you can split this down to two payments of 36 pounds and 98 pence so it is the angela pool slot and spin vintage frames complete collection almost did it right <laughs> now you can of course go for the individuals if you want the stamps on their own you can you can get the stencils on their own you can go for the card stock you can get everything individually but the value and of, co of course everything together to create samples like the ones we're seeing here i mean we're talking about little tiny little gift cards here as well look at this one how sweet is that oh that is so beautiful with a little heart in there oh that is gorgeous so little things like that oh i've got to show you this one how clever is this turn this into a globe i think this was adam's favorite from earlier on using the dies there look how clever is that to make the stand and look at the sentiment on there you are my world i think that says there let's have a look what else we've got here as well now i was watching earlier on i've just spotted where i can see one of the samples with the gift card in as well that was a demonstration that angela did, uh, angela did. now you could put photographs on the back of these as well oh jimmy's had, had a good idea what about if you've got twins a card like that would work very nicely wouldn't it you could go with different colors of cards stamp and emboss in different colors blue pink a bit of both whatever colors your neutrals anything you want this is lovely using the stamp using the stamp there from the stamp set as that frame that is gorgeous look at that and then you've got that spinning element in the center there as well let me just find one of the gift cards because this is lovely let me show you this this little uh, envelope i'm going to call it an envelope but it's a bit posh really to be just an envelope using the dies if i turn that around so you can see it's for the circular dies and you've got save the date in there these are going to fold together and interlock so you kind of just tuck them it's a bit like when you get those cardboard boxes and you've got to tuck the flaps the right way around that's that's how you've got to do it so let me just do that there there we go there you can see doesn't that look lovely the cardstock, of course, 300 GSM, beautiful colours, 24 double-sided sheets, 300 GSM, A4 in size. You've got eight different designs, and the colours are absolutely stunning. They really are. 151198 is the item number. That's for the one-day special itself. Now, looking at the stencils, we can see them there as part of the kit, but let's have a closer look at these as well. They are absolutely stunning in design. Different elements on that one stencil there, but of course in the one day special you're getting two stencils. We get it the doily, the vintage doily as well. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Now think about embossing with these as well. Uh, now that I've just spotted something else as well, let's have a look at this. Wow, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? using your texture paste you know if you've got the clear paste or your white paste you can mix color in put some mica powders in there some ink in there as well if you were watching the prima shows early and you went for the paste the chalk paste that is going to be great with these stencils as well i love the variation of color there going from the white into the pale pink into the deeper pink very very clever indeed and there on the lid as well look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful 151198 that is the item number for the one day special now individually of course we've mentioned it a number of times you can get them the die set is also available individually there is 14 dies in total 26.99 is the price so much to go at here of course we're going to see how these work in the second part of the demonstration i think with richard 886002 now many of you are going for the extra card i'm not surprised you know you're going to use it you know you want, want to more two-thirds almost of the stock has gone of this you can see the beautiful colors there 11.99 that is a great price 378290 is the item number for the card stock Richard are you ready for phase two <coughs> I've been cheating a little bit I just oh, did some die I just did some die cutting when you were um, when you were over oh, there that's not cheating. So, well you know I think it'll speed me up a little bit so I'm gonna try and make because we've had comments about you know one night to America everyone was going oh your cards are beautiful your cards are beautiful and then they were all going oh but they're too big for the post they're too big for the post <laughs> and we met this lady and i want to say her name was betty and i apologize if it is not but i'm fairly confident and she was indignant she was outraged she said to them if i made a card this beautiful she said i'd pay the extra 50 cents to post it so um so yeah, oh, good she on was you. brilliant good on you betty <clears throat> that's what your name is i hope you're watching so i'm going to try and um, recreate this rather nice little card that is so sweet just using two of the just using two of the dies uh, i've just cut, i've just die cut 
cut to pieces. Um, so yeah, I've just die cut the pieces. So I'm just going to do some inking. Now, this obviously this particular stamp doesn't come in the stamp set because it's a much bigger stamp. So you could do a much bigger card. So I'm actually going to I'm actually going to um, stamp it over that um, and actually uh, probably waste a little bit of ink. But I'll try my best to keep it to Aww. a minimum, not to stress people out. So. <laughs> Mainly Angela, because it's her ink pads I'm using. So. I'm sure Angela's very happy yeah. watching from the green room. She's got lots of faith in you. Oh, I hope so. Well, I she don't, like, don't she know if you saw her sneaking with the camera a bit earlier. Is she? She did. Oh. She did. Right, that's You're it. caught on camera, Richard. Oh, she right, that's it. <laughs> mm. I love this car store. I think it is so beautiful. It is. Is it? It's really nice it, it, to see it as well in person. Yeah. I, I think actually, I think when people get it home, I think they're actually going to go. They're actually going to look at it and go, "Wow, it looks better in person." Yeah. So. Um, so it's, it is. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. So this is the photo of the polymer stamp. So I'll just bring them over here. You can see. You can see it, and you'll see how sticky they are because I, I love the photo polymer stuff. It's just. Lovely. And that's been used several times today, and it hasn't worn off yet. So using the stamping platform, which is uh, my best friend for stamping. I'm just going to line him up okay, like so. so. Got that nice and central. And then bring him over. A little bit of a weight. Lovely. Now the stamps individually at the bottom of the screen there, 34 individual stamps you get in, in the set for £22.99, 162314. Right, I'm going to use a... Oh, we're going a bit multicoloured. Look at that, see? Uh, a little bit posh, isn't it? So, um, it well, is rather. what we did with the demo card is we um, we did some. We just literally went, yeah. like, you know, unboxed it around a little bit. So I think that's okay. the terminology. So uh, I mean, that's what I'm going with anyway. Beautiful <coughs> colours once again. Do you know what? She has got an eye for colour. She certainly so, uh, has. Do you know? I'm thinking, looking at this little card as well, Richard. If you had just one piece so if you if that was rather than it being a card you just had the front but the same elements in there mm -hmm. you could make bunting out of that and put oh, some yeah, wording yeah. on names on yeah. and have it strung especially if you've got it on the opening of a door or something so as the as people are walking underneath and the winds catch it doesn't take a lot of it doesn't take a lot to get for it to a spin wedding. yeah, for a wedding, oh, that yeah, would yeah, amazing, yeah. definitely it? yeah do you know, I love it when you go to a, you know, someone's party or a wedding or something like that, and people have actually gone to the trouble to actually make something. Because obviously, yeah. people know Andrew's into, obviously, into a craft and everything. They don't expect me to be into it. So when I go there, I'm like, oh, look what you've made. They go, oh, thanks for noticing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, now, touch wood. Oh, oh, Richard, look, you're excelling yourself now. Look at that. Yeah, well, it's getting carried away now. Look at that, I don't think I over inked it either because I haven't, I haven't, it hasn't perfect. gone too much on the outside. That's so absolutely perfect. I'll just pop him down there. Okay. So she'll shoot me later for not wiping the uh, stamp off at the same time. But, <laughs> do you know, know, some of our guests don't ever clean their stamps. Do really? You know that? Mm. That's bad. So now I've just got to cut my aperture in the card. So you don't have to cut the aperture. So obviously, our little, our little demo card is done that way. Okay. Um, so that's the it's cut on the sides. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm going to, but you could obviously it's completely up to you where you cut it. So okay, you know yeah. there's no no limitations there. Right. So that's if if I just bring this sample back in again. Mm -hmm. That's how this was achieved. Then depending on on where those side little like, what would we call those those little side bits? What's the best way of describing Are them? They kind of like wings or tabs. Yeah, mm. the wings or the tabs. Depend depending where you put them. Of course, things are going to sit in a different place. So you can have multiple layers like this and that really is so clever so effective well, I'm getting Angela on my earpiece no I don't have an earpiece but I'm getting Angela she's she's telling me interlocking tabs interlocking no, tabs I'm making that up there she's not here go. so I'm making an executive it decision good, though. so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. she'll be in the green room shouting no that's not what she does do you know what she never shouts actually so uh, I can't imagine so, Angela no, she shouting doesn't, so, so. Oh, you right. don't shout at Angela, do you? Oh, God, no. Cool. Oh, thank goodness I'm not that, that brave. Mm. <laughs> so, right, so I'm going to do a bit of more die cutting now, just to show that I can actually die cut stuff. Cool. No, believe it or not, I'm not a very shouty person, so... Uh, oh, I'm pleased to hear um, it. <sighs> right. So it's going to get me off of here. Okay. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Stop. Get rid of my platforms. How many children have you got then, Richard? Two. Two. Yeah. Joshua and Darcy. Well? They oh yeah, they, they, they had a go on this die set before anyone else did. did they? So yeah, <laughs> Joshua oh. slotted his in slightly wrong and it fell out. And he went, oh no, oh, oh. <laughs> so um, yeah. 
I don't know if I'm, I'm meant to say on air that he got eight out of eight on his spelling test today. Of course you can. So, I'm so oh, proud of him. Oh, what's his name again? Joshua. Joshua. Oh, so, will he be watching? No. Not this time, I know. Should be in bed now, yes. but if you catch this on Rewind, Joshua, well done. Yeah, I'm so well proud of him. Well done indeed. So proud of him. <clears throat> Obviously so proud of Dorothy as well, so, but you know, but you know. Of got course. eight out of eight on his spelling test today, so. <laughs> yeah, very proud, Dad. Right, so cool. So, I've got my aperture. Lovely. Like so. And then oh. I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping and just do some distress and some edges um, and then put that together. Um, how are we doing on time? Am I right to do that? Yeah, we've got plenty of time. We've still got oh, half good, the good show good. left, Richard. You're doing very, very well indeed. <coughs> I better slow down a bit then, aren't I? No, no, you'll keep on. We'll get more right, demonstrations in. So, so, yes, so I've got, me, um, I got the, ha I got the um, happy birthday stamp, okay, um, which is done in a really nice font uh, from the stamp set. I've just spinning around. You can have a little look at that one. So I'm just going to go with, um, just gonna go with uh, the multicolored pad again because I think okay. it just looks nice. Do, 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 do. And with the block, not yeah. with the platform this time. No, Ooh, no, no, I'm going to go pressure, freehand. Pressure. Freehand, look. Do, do, do. <laughs> you even make the noises. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> you see me playing with Lego, God. <laughs> so, uh, so. Oh, the building blocks are available, of course. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. You should hear me with the construction toys. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. Right now, let's have a little thing here. So I'm going to carry. I'm going to build it the same way we built it before. So I'm just going to go from the side to the side, and I'm going to okay. get me a little stamp, line him up. Lovely stuff. Like that, yeah. <clears throat> Freehand. And if you I'm know, we've got every bit of faith in you. Look at that. Look at that. Well, absolutely perfect. <laughs> You know, as the pressure was on, I've got to be honest. Now, obviously, <laughs> don't get me wrong, well, we probably should have done, obviously, to avoid the waste, as I should have cut that bit out of this bit. But because I'm demoing on air, I forgot. But I'm not going to waste it. I will reuse it. You I, can yes. reuse it. You could use that as a little, I'm, I'm gonna uh, stick it in your pocket. little layer yep. as well. Yeah. Yep. I'll right. give that to Angela. She'll, Angela, she'll have forget. that. She'll have that on air tomorrow, don't worry. And I've got a couple <laughs> of little ink pads here, and I'm just going to do some edge distressing with it. Ooh. So, now I know she, Angela, she... You've even got brand new daubers here, look. They're not working. Right, OK. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. So I'm just going to dis distress the edges a little bit. So yeah, I'm sure that's not, not coming out as well as it would have done if I'd have used the dabbers. But uh, there we it's go. It's looking good to me. Very, very pretty colours. Very pretty colours indeed. Love it. How's that? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I'll do a little bit of the pink. OK. On the other side, because yeah, obviously it's nice, yes, because it, so you can have two different looks, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Um, you know, different types of card work really well together, and obviously because our card is um, double-sided as well, um, yeah. obviously you do get the two colours on both sides, which is nice. Beautiful. There you go. That's nice, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah. And now for the construction. So yes, uh, and you'll notice uh, very large fingers. So, uh, <laughs> so if I can put this together, anybody can. Okay. You can also lock the card as well. So if you actually lock them against each other, the card will actually sit. Um, the pieces will sit nice and flat, and then obviously you can um, then. So that one's spinning I just, nicely. It's incredible how yeah. that works. You just you think it would lock into position and not move because the yeah if, you, if, I, if, I, if I was to just in case you are posting or you want to store it away if I was to take that one out if I can do it and twist it against itself yeah like so it's just threaded through the other so way it, it does stay so clever. it does stay you know it, it's quite rigid so it's, it's not going anywhere so, it's but, so, so clever. but yeah but you know we're here for the uh, we're here for the spinning so uh, okay. Hang on, just getting through that. This is why you need the 300 cards. You, you can be a little bit heavy handed with it, yeah. you know, clearly. I am. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, you're not in any danger of causing any damage. And of course, with the aperture that you've cut, you've also got mm -hmm. the little slotted areas there as well, the little tabs, interlocking tabs. Is that what they're mm -hmm. called, though? I've done that the wrong way around. So uh, we'll just pop him okay. in and put him back in. There we are. Uh, there we go, see? So even if you do no make a... No glue! This is a lot of things, so you're not going to smudge the glue. If you do go wrong, if you do put things the wrong way around, you can easily take it out and change it as well. Oh, do you know, you could change your photographs, couldn't you? You could have those, you could have like a little desk, uh, a little desk, I was going to say a tidy, but just kind of a little desk calendar. You could put a proper calendar in there and put photographs in there and change them around. There we go. Look yeah, at if that. You'll stand up. That is so, so. pretty. Wonderful. Demo. 
Demo, Look demo. at that. So, yeah. so wonderful, isn't it, there? Oh, do you know, we've got some great inspiration, of course, from the design team as well. I think we're going to be seeing much more of Richard's own work on these videos <laughs> as well coming up. But let's have a look at some inspiration mm -hmm. from the design teams and, of course, the two Angelas included. Yes, wonderful samples there. It doesn't matter which colour you go for, the card socket included in the one day special, the inks you use, they all look beautiful, don't they? I've got lot, lots of samples at the back of me as well. I'm going to point one or two out in a little while. But let's give you a recap of the one day special itself. It's been very, very busy from launch. Uh, we've lost a lot of the stock, 24 hours worth of stock, of course. An awful lot of the stock has gone. We are approaching two thirds of the stock gone. You can get individuals, but the value is here in the one day special. You're saving eight pounds. Let's run through everything. You're looking there, of course, at the dies. There you've got 14 individual dies within this set. You've also got the stamp as well. Now the stamp set, am I right in remembering, was that 34 individual stamps? Yes, it was. And you're getting two stencils as well. And you're getting the card pack. So everything you need to get going here, just you, obviously you want your inks if you're stamping, your die cut machine, but you can make the most beautiful projects here from this one bundle. That's saving there and a flexi buy option for you as well. Two payments of £36.98. You've just seen the beautiful card slot there. 300 GSM, remember, 24 double sided sheets and eight different designs the colors are absolutely gorgeous 151198 is the item number we've seen the stencils there as well different elements with within this one stencil here you've got that beautiful border you've got the key in there the flourish uh, the lock is there as well aren't they just stunning you know if you're upcycling furniture I know we've talked about that a lot today with Prima but think about your cars think about your home decor think about your furniture the toilet again a great piece that would go so well on a little coffee table wouldn't it we've seen the gift boxes decorated as well absolutely beautiful we've got all sorts of unusual designs as well let I just have a look at a few more samples here look at this one how clever is this so you can see within there you've got those circles that sort of link together you've got the keys there but that will just collapse down and fold down flat as well I love anything that's dimensional that will fold down but then pops up I've got to draw to attention also I think one of the design team members made this actually the mobile that we've got hung at the back there as well in fact Rich is just bringing it in for us how clever is this and how unusual absolutely gorgeous so some clouds cut out there as well and using of course those circles that interlock together we're also catching sight of some of the sort of space theme cards there in the background as well do you know there's nothing that you can't achieve short of your imagination is there 151 198 is the item number for the one day special of course now individually we can show you the stamp set as well you can go for this one very busy 60 percent almost of the stock has gone of the stamp set 34 individual stamps you've got that beautiful large frame that you saw richard using you've got the happy birthday and the with love there are other sentiments in there as well uh, but those two that i've just mentioned are in the circles you've got this they've got the stamps that will work into the die cut circles as well if you are going for the dies as well so many elements in there one six two three one four just twenty two ninety nine and then the card pack this is proving extremely busy 70% of the stock has gone just 11.99 if you're going for the one day special well worth popping the extra card pack in your basket as well you can split the cost you'll get this on flexi buy if you're going for the one day special item number 378290 so if you are splitting that that will be two payments of six pounds on the card stock remember that's 300 gsm as well 
Now the second part of the demonstration that we started with, with Richard coming up now. So we saw how you use the stencil with the crackle paste there. We've, you've done a bit of die cutting, you've done a bit of stamping. What are we doing next, Richard? <coughs> you just caught me cleaning the stamps. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. so I won't be in trouble. Mm. So, yeah. that means I was, like, I was, was a little bit scarier one, so. than we're letting on, perhaps. Will you be in trouble? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no, um, yeah. So we did some uh, we did some um, mixed media, which I think is great, and uh, yeah. you know because you can get a little bit messy with it. Although I got to be honest with you, that's some pretty clean mixed media. Um, that's great. Yeah. Now it's it's not crackled as much as we'd like. So what we'll probably do is we'll give it a little blast. You know, obviously in the true spirit of a preparation. Um, here's one I did earlier. Okay. So when you can see, there's a lot more crackle to it. Um, you know, you get this really nice effect, which again kind of adds to that like sort of like sort of like old yeah. sort of China look. You know. It so. does. It's it certainly does. Yes. <laughs> right, so, so just a little bit more drying time, and that's going to hopefully. I'm going to give it a little go with the. Um, i going to give it a little go with the the heat gun. Okay. Um, and if it doesn't come out the way we want it, you know, um, we got a bit of time, so I can just flip over to the one I've already made. So, okay. So, yeah. Right here we go. <sighs> you can't see it crackling now as it's drying, but yeah, it just needs a little bit more drying time. Obviously at home probably best to let it just sit until it has dried naturally on its own. I think the best effect would be achieved if you did that, of course. Yeah, definitely so. That's coming on really well, actually, Richard. You can really see it coming through. <clears throat> I know there's going to be some people shouting at the TV in a minute, because I, I, while I've done this lovely crackle paste effect, I am going to run it through the uh, die cutting machine which does squash it down a little bit, but you still get the crackle effect and, you know, yes, I probably could do it beforehand, but um, I, I probably wouldn't work out where the centre of the circle is. Okay. <coughs> now, obviously, you want to make sure any texture paste or crackle is properly dry before putting it through the machine, otherwise it oh, slides to stick to your plates. It's lovely. Do you know what? Based on that, I'm going to swap for the one I did earlier. Just play it so, safe. Just, yeah, safe. just Actually, that's, safe. that has come through very, very well, though. But yes, this one we know I think is it has, nice but you've dry. got you've made a really valid point. So uh, <laughs> I'm really glad you uh, you chipped in with that because that would have been a, that would have been an issue. Was, was that a, an obvious <laughs> sort of little? Yeah, I know. I'm glad. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you pointed it out. So uh, right. We, le we learn by our mistakes, Richard. That's the thing. Yes, definitely so. Definitely so. I'm just going to find my large aperture die, which is here. Now, of course, the dies that are available in the one-day special or individually, actually, they will all fit through your standard machines, won't they, Richard? You've got the Big Shot Plus there, which is a, an A4 size machine. Mm -hmm. But I don't I think any of the dies themselves will be too big to go through a standard A5 no, machine. No, they should fit through the A5 machine, yeah, so you okay. shouldn't have any problems there. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm literally just going to cut the uh, cut this aperture right here. Where okay. is my finished sample? I've lost it. Under there, isn't it? I think it is hiding. Sometimes when I'm backwards constructing a card, what I do is I just get the one that I've already made, pop in there, and then I just get the die and I just lay it over the top and go, yep, that's yep, the right one. That's the right one. So, so we're going to go like so. Now, if you're not sure tank. whether you want the tabs, the interlocking tabs at the top or the sides, top, bottom or sides, at this point, you don't have to worry because that's oh. a square. You can still, you've still got the opportunity to spin that around, yeah. haven't you? Absolutely. Um, and obviously, every time you spin it around, you're obviously going to get the different shades of the card because yeah. we've got the sort of like the light blue here almost setting into the sort of the sun yes. or the, the dusk, if you like. Yeah. So, uh, so effective. Right, so I'm just going to very gently pop some washi tape. Now you'll notice I'm putting it on the inside because I don't want it to go anywhere near the crackle paste because okay. the washi tape, while very gentle, could um, could damage the bit of card I actually want to use okay. or or the actual crackle paste. Lovely. I'm going to pop him in the die cutting machine. Now of course depending on the die cutting machine you're using just check the sandwich the plates the way you put them together uh, the dies though as we've already mentioned will go through all die cutting machines really as long as you've got the a5 or upwards um nothing too big for an a5 machine here so you don't have to worry about having an a4 machine that richard's using <coughs> i'll yeah. be doing some more die cutting in a minute but i'll just uh pack him in there okay i clearly okay. don't need me brush for this bit so uh, so there we go. There we are. Look at that. Very cleanly cut. Beautiful, beautiful um, decorative edge there you're getting as well. And obviously, although I have, although I have done a little bit of a preparation in advance, uh, some of the other colours, 
what what it would normally do if I was uh, just taking my time is I would cut some of the other circles from this piece as well. Yeah. So you know, but yeah. again, okay. stick it in my pocket. I'll give it, I'll give it to Angela. <laughs> she'll, she'll have it on air tomorrow. So you know, no waste. So. No waste at all. Now then, I'm just going to give everybody a bit of a heads up because the cardstock is proving extremely popular. 80% of the stock gone. Uh, just a reminder, we do repeat shows throughout the night. We do make sales throughout the night. We often sell a lot in the early hours as well. So we don't know whether this stock is going to last. It could have gone by the morning. We can't say because we don't know what people are going to do. But of course... You don't want to miss out on this, do you? I think if you're going for the one-day special, well worth popping an extra pad into your basket as well. Split the cost. £6 now, £6 in a month's time on that cardstock if you add an in into your basket. Of course, individually, just 11 99 to pay now. Postage and packaging to apply if you're not a Freedom member, of course. You are not going to be disappointed in this. Just a reminder, it's 300 GSM, 24 sheets, double-sided as well, and eight different designs. And I honestly couldn't choose a favorite out of the designs the colors are beautiful you've got colors kind of going in from the side and going from lighter to darker or from the bottom to the top so a difference in the different designs it really is beautiful shades you know there's no getting away from it uh, so what I've done there just um, I'll show you now is I've used two of the dice because one of the dice cuts out the actual aperture um, which is um, and which is this sort of the inner one here that just okay. cuts out your circle with your little tabs and then the outer one sort of cuts the the actual vintage frame sort right, of almost like okay. the you know the the, the, the lace, lace effect Lovely. so when I pop these off I should have if I've done it correctly I should have a rather beautiful Looking good to me. Little now, frame. I did notice as well, you've got lots of lovely release holes in the die, but look mm -hmm. how that's just fallen out of the die itself. And that's 300 GSM as well, yeah. so a lot thicker. Yeah. I've run out of space in my pocket for scrap card, so I'm going to make a pile down here. So, oh, uh, Angela, if you're watching, sorry. watching, I'm sure you mm. are, make sure Richard doesn't sit down before he's given you the pieces of oh, card. Oh, wow. Because you'll crease it. Yeah, but it could make a curved, <laughs> I don't know, some kind of <laughs> curved card, you know, so it could be quite cool. I don't think it'd work, but um, I'm just going <laughs> to pop these back on there. So yes. There and, um, we go. Lovely. Oh, see what I mean? So you know, a washi tape is so gentle, but sometimes every now and again, a little bit, I reckon, just got that little bit of extra tack on it, and it catches you out. Do you know? I think sometimes it may depend on the type of cardstock as well. If it's kind of got a bit of a coating on or a smooth surface, mm. it might not stick so much. If you've got a very porous or fibrous cardstock, it may sort of attach itself a little bit more. Well, this card is also very good for stamping, as you saw yeah. earlier. It really takes the ink in really well, and because they're for polymer stamps, they don't bleed. You know, you don't get the the, the bubbling of the yeah. of, of the. Uh, of the ink so more sound effects there for you so i love the sound effects so i promise to do i'll try and do as many as i can so what sound effects yeah sound effects yeah <laughs> so, i love it so. it's just it's just it's just well it's just what it is <laughs> so yeah just gonna get the little um and you'll see the little bits are just flying out lovely i nearly made a meow noise then but i thought you know so. oh uh, Jimmy, our director, wants to know, do you do a good dolphin sound? <gasps> yes! Oh, we didn't know that. That's incredible! <laughs> well, now, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? Jimmy's going to be demanding all sorts of different sound effects. Oh. Uh, what about a peacock? No. No, no peacock. <laughs> Dolphin's about the limit, so... Uh, that was so it. Nice. We didn't expect that, actually. We thought we'd have catch you out here. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. So, I do love doing this bit. It's quite therapeutic. My, gran <laughs> my, my granddad used to just hang his tongue out the side of his mouth when he was doing this. I just, not not crafting. He was obviously doing something much more uh, much more intense. Do you know, a lot of crafters do that as well, though. Stick their tongue out. Oh. I remember when I saw you. We we, we were um, on opposite stands, weren't we? In um, Oh, where was that? Yes, Harrogate, yes. yeah. Are you going this year? Um, yeah, I'm going to be there Yes, again. I think we so, are. Yeah, we're, we they're, it, we're, they're doing one down by, um, obviously it's a Hachanda supported event as well, which is yeah. nice. So, the date? What's, what are the dates, Richard? Do you know the I don't know off the top of my head. Oh. But they're doing a new one um, um, on not, not far from us. Harrogate, it's Stamperia, isn't it? Uh, well, I don't know if we can find out. I can't remember the dates off the top of my head because we've got lots of shows, the NEC lined up, all those different events. Uh, but do watch out for everybody from Achanda, of course, at the different events. Lots of our suppliers 
uh, presenters and our staff do attend, of course. Yep, it's a nice event too. It's so. lovely. And it's always nice, especially when during the setup, and you know, when there's loads of customers and crafters wandering around, and you look over and someone's making something, you're like, oh, yeah. I remember that, and so on and so forth. Oh. So it's I've got the third of May, is it? Mm. Oh lordy, that'll be before we know it. It will. You're not kidding. So I've got my frames. Um, I've got my centerpiece, which I did some um, heat embossing on earlier, uh, which is there. So I cannot honestly guarantee that is the one I did earlier, because in the true court spirit of preparation, I did. Uh, oh, it is. It, it is. is it is. Cars, yeah, and that one's stand. burnt. I'm not taking credit for that. So, you know, oh, right. <laughs> so, right. So I'm literally just going to um, hold the frames nice and lightly like this, okay. and I'm just going to pop him in. So you can easily see where the little slots are there, so there's no getting that the wrong way around. Just make sure when you do stamp, if you want the stamped image or the sentiment in a particular place, mm -hmm. make sure you place it where you want it, of course. Obviously, when you cut these out, um, as Andrew showed earlier, you can actually do some stamping actually on, on, yes. the, actual, on the actual parts of the card. I love that about the stamps, lovely. actually. That you have got, they work, they fit perfectly. In fact, let me just find a sample or two. Oh, here's the gift voucher. Hmm. Look at this. This now, how were the tabs done to put the gift voucher in there? Uh -huh. That was um, it's a funny, I'll tell you the story. Um, there's a tiny little die here now. When Angela was creating the die set, she got all to the stage where she was ready, you know, to send it off. And uh, Katie, our, um, our good friend and business partner, had done all her um, sort of like computer aided design and everything yeah. else, and it was ready to go to the manufacturer. And they were both looking at it and they were going, There's 13 dies. We can't produce a dice set with 13 dice. So they sat there going, well, we can't get another circle in, we can't get another circle in. And then they realised that one of the larger apertures was just the right size for a gift card. So they created this little fella. Oh. Just this tiny little fella. I'll hold it in my hand here so they can get it from above. So, yeah, uh, just that tiny little fella there. What a lovely addition, and though. All it does is cuts the exact right um, little holes out so you can that actually so put clever. a gift card in. So, uh, yeah. And gift cards, so, gift so cards are clever. gift. Not like I don't really give gift cards, but gift cards are a lovely gift. I love receiving gift cards. So, <laughs> you know, so, yes. so, so, that, so I'm just still assembling my frames. Okay. So you'll see I'm going across. So what, one's going that way, one's going this way. So they're going at opposite okay. angles. So they'll spin nicely together. And because they're separate colours, it's nice and easy to see. I'm just finding the centre of our mat there, Richard. So when you put that down, everything's oh, going yeah. nicely on nice view. Nice and interesting. So, you know, so yeah. let we we'll get in there. See, look, look at that already. So yeah, and then, dun, dun, dun. do you know what I should do? Do you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to stick the back on first. I'm going to uh, put the back of yeah. my card on first. Okay. Just in case. Oh, I've lost me a uh, pre-prepared sticky tab, <laughs> and I've got new nails. Oh, neither have I. I was I about to wonder. pass it to you to. Uh, I think yours are probably longer than mine. Do you know what? Where's my pokey tool? Uh, here he is. Look at that. There we go. Doop. Lovely job. Mm. Oh, sound effects oh, again. Did you hear it? <laughs> 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 Just, just you know, it just goes. So obviously, depending on which way I now do this, um, depends on whether I have the sort of like the the, the sort of the sort of the yeah. sort of noon type colours, whereas the sort of the sort of more pastel colour on the side. So I'm going to go with the darker edge on the inside. Okay. Uh, dum -dum, which is completely up to you. And if I line this, this is the up, point where you do need to make that decision. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. But you know what? If you're making these to obviously to um, to sell on, and you do one with the dark on one side and one with the light on the yeah. other, then actually you've got two completely unique cards. So very, very true indeed. So yes. So there is my. Look at that. Do you know, it looks amazing just as it is, but when we put the interlocking pieces in here, it's just incredible. I'm thinking as well, so we can make to sell. We haven't got an issue with that. No, no issue. So just send us 10%. <laughs> now, these are the I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no, <laughs> these are the ideal um, products, actually, because you've already said something about it. Well, there's a number of reasons why, but if you're taking things to a craft fair to mm -hmm. sell, then, of course, everything can be flat, and then you can put them together on display, so yep. you're not going and to be pop out bits. Yep. Yep. And of course, your display is going to look incredible, Beautiful. isn't it? It's going to look Beautiful. absolutely amazing. And? Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, I adore that. Oh, Let's give it a little. Richard. Let's just a little bit of a oh, a little bit of a spin. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. 
It really is. You should be very proud of yourself, Richard. Yeah, thank you very much. So, you, you really know. should. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I think I won't, I think I want one of my frames ever so slightly, but I'll just give it a little straighten. But there oh. we go. I think I was. I think I'm the only one that probably noticed. But there we go. But when but when people like when like when they're in a room with people just walking around, they do ever so gently just spin on their ring. Oh, I love that. So you know. Gorgeous. Someone walks past, the door opens, a little bit of a breeze. Beautiful. Well, let's have a so, look yeah. at some more inspiration once again, because, of course, using the different colours, you're going to get different looks, different combinations. Let's look at this once again. Just stunning, aren't they? We're talking birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, gifts, anything, in fact. These are going to lend themselves to absolutely every occasion. Now, what you're getting is Angela Poole's Slot and Spin Vintage Frames Complete Collection. Two-thirds of the stock has gone. Die sets in here. Well, it's a die set with 14 individual dies there. You've got the stamp set with 34 individual stamps, made to work together, of course. You're also getting the two A4 stencils here, different elements on those stencils as well, and you're getting the card pack also, which is absolutely gorgeous. 24 double-sided sheets, 300 GSM, eight different designs in the card pack. Now, we've seen the video there with the inspiration on, but it just keeps going on. We've got so much more at the back here, but I think it's important to really break down the one-day special. So we're going to show you of course, every element that you're getting a little bit closer. So these are your dies, 14 individual dies. I love the fact that you're getting the gift card uh, little slot maker there as well, if that's what you want to call it. Of course, when you are cutting the dies out, we need to see what they look like. So here we are. Here's one board. We've got a couple of boards to show you, actually. The detail is just beautiful. No glue required for putting these together, these frames as well. You can, see, you can see the stamps on this one as well, the, stamp, the stamped words going around and you on the aperture. Can. It's beautiful. Yeah, 34 individual stamps as I say, so you've got the ones that work around the circles, you've got uh, sentiments and all sorts as well. You can get them individually if you want to just go for the stamps. There's another board there as well. Let's show you the stamps a little bit closer actually. So everything's stamped out onto one board there. It really does have that gorgeous vintage feel about it, doesn't it? I think I've probably got that upside down because I think, oh no, I haven't. Oh, the no, keys there. Right, I was right. looking at the lock and I suddenly <laughs> thought, have I got the lock upside down? But I haven't. And then, of course, the stencils as well. In the one day special, you're getting two A4 stencils, the vintage flourishes, and of course, the vintage lace doily. Now, we're almost out of time, Richard, but I've spotted these as well. Yeah. Who's going to be on at 9 a.m. in the morning? Angela. Angela's back mm -hmm. in the morning. Um, Richard, of course, will be cleaning his stamps up if he's not done them properly tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do get your extra card packs as well if you want to get it as well. While we've got it, it's almost limited stock. Literally got seconds left. Richard, well done. Thank Brilliant you. Work. Thank Brilliant you. work. Do stay with us. Thank you. Yes, I think Richard's going to be back demonstrating for us again very soon. Lavinia Stamps coming up next and then Angela Poole One Day Special. Then we're here with Crafty Roo Designs. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We were both very passionate about paper craft in general. and Jackie's particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Addison Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Addison Sparkle is we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market 
to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Add Some Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello, good afternoon, and good afternoon, Amanda. Good afternoon. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has, for us. it has. It has indeed. Yeah, I think it's a couple of years, actually, oh, already. Time flies. It's nice to, nice to be back together. Bless you, Amanda. You. Now, you were on earlier. Yeah. Super busy show. I mean, Lavinia stamps. What's not to love? These are the most beautifully drawn, exquisite stamps. And I love, because I'm all things sort of mythical.